Hello, everyone, and welcome to day one of the Adamant Cup tournament. I've officially lost count on how many matches we're at. Somewhere between one, five, nine, Q. There's there's a lot of matches today. I am here. Alice is pushing buttons. Nayabari is basically making sure the fire doesn't get too far out of control. I am Martin, and on my left is the one and only Deathlike. Deathlike, how are you today? I'm good. I'm just uh, enjoying, well, everything, because that's what we do. It's all about wa watching and talking about just a, about a seed that gets that gets rolled, and we get to talk about talk about it. I mean, what can I what? What, what more can you say about it? Nothing. I mean, look, it's amazing gameplay we're going to see on the screen. Y'all get to listen to both of us talk about the game. There's an Edward on the screen. I see required music. I see required giant. I mean, give me some pizza and we have ourselves. I mean, this is a great evening. Yeah. Well, Edward start. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm, I'm rumored. Rumor is it. We will have a wonderful partner on top of that. And. Makes me want to think, hey, let's start with uh, Mount Hobbs. Maybe we want to pick up an early <laughs> character this early. Hey, there's nothing better than Team 90 HP. Or are, are, are we right here? You know, get that Edward Radius start, and you're just like, can I even kill anything? Is this remotely possible? <laughs> Don't we get dupe characters? So does that mean we can have uh, more more Edward? You know, plates? I have played a ton of these. Scenes. I don't know. I've never had a dual character start. I would love to see it. Yeah. So this, I, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, I, I'm, that the I'm thing? curious. This is great. Uh, this is this is round one. This is the opening match between Fly Eagles Fly 72 and NG Dave. Uh, NG, very well known. Been around the block. Was in Lolly Ho. Was in ZZ4. He's back for more. And uh, Fly Eagles Fly... One one of the like I I I looked it up because I thought the name sounded familiar. Been around for a very long time, so I'm I'm looking forward to some amazing racing. I'm definitely looking forward to it too. i I know I'm not racing. Uh, I don't not racing this uh, season, burn it, but like just wanted to take a look at the field and try to look just think about uh, which what kind of which way I would ought to go. Do I want to go full aggressive? A little more conservative, you know. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, you're gonna make uh, one kind of pick out of the blue once in a while, just to hope to get an edge. Because that's, I mean, you can't. I don't think in any seed where uh, one decision is everything. But then again, um, the, it's you. Sometimes a combination of decisions will determine how fast or how far behind you might be. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. And especially with like the settings on this flag set. Um, because it is the Adamant Cup, Adamants are now live, which we've never seen in a tournament before. So this is going to be, oh, well, so that's the second character. I see. Hey, we're off and running. <laughs> we have a Tello, we have a Pass, we have a Sylph, we have... We really need some hope here. And no, I'm not talking about Final Fantasy XIII hope. We just need, a, you know... Just something, just something. To get the you know, get, get get them off and running. So, but yeah, we're we're off. I'm I'm curious to see where this goes. Um, I've played a lot of these seeds. I don't know if you have. Um, starting direction can change immediately right out of the gate. Um, you see on Ng's side, you know, going straight to Taroya for the freebie, courtesy of Bedward. Uh, because D. Miss decided to take this tournament off. Yay. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think maybe even doing a small raid on the half treasury, the, essentially everything that's not in the treasury may be worth the look. Mm -hmm. And yes, we can and we get the key to open the sealed cave, which I uh, probably won't be thinking about too much longer. Uh, I think. The probably the best route is probably to get the free key item. You just route that in immediately, or at least route that in, in the next on the next thing you want to do. Because uh, if it's the hook, uh, you don't want to be behind the eight ball. I think you, anything that gets you to the underground quickly, 
will be important, but I think it's more important to right now worry about uh, characters because I think you can get I think you can try to get Tella to do some work a little bit if you can get a free boss mm -hmm. or something where you can just gamble on his uh, J J commands, which is which is enabled uh, for these for the entire Adamant Cup. Um, I like if you find like the free when I mean by free boss bosses that in, in this term in this case are bosses that we can just um, hope that a, a spell will pop up like uh, you know a week a week and everyone will actually be helpful it has to be the ones without the boss bit so we're talking about like baron guards uh, soldier officer those kinds of battles where you can gamble and you might actually get some, you can cut some time off. Just, just on the old man himself. Just we, you want, kind of want to just try to get a free, a free kill so we, so uh, Edward can uh, kind of contribute in some way, shape, or form. Exactly, and you know, going going back to what you said, obviously, uh, the early game that that Taroya check, it, it's nice to have direction when you're on the overworld. You know, something that maybe points you, whether it's an earth crystal, like you said, a hook. A magma, just something that isn't just like okay. Let me let me go do you know the usual. Which we're seeing two different variants of it right now. Um, Eagles obviously went to uh, Damsey and Basement to find some items. Ng going to Evelyn in this case uh, because of the flag set that we're currently on. Because it is T Wildish Max Tier Seven. Uh, Evelyn and the Watery Pass are two of the best locations early game to find some very amazing items. Um, things like Avengers, Bahamut Summon, Stardust Rods, those things can just be laying on the ground and, you know, available, pick them up. Uh, it's an interesting play. I'd, I'd, I'd be curious to get your take on it. Um, usually, Evelyn, when you're trying to hit something big in Evelyn, usually because you have a character that can take full advantage of it, you know, starting with like a king, where you can find a defense sword, a white spear, like Angie actually found in the very first chest in Evelyn was a white spear. Um, but things like that. But the loot, I mean, the loot can't be understated on how good the loot is in that place. So we'll have to see what uh, what Angie does with all the stuff that he found. But we get our first look at Hobbs here. And, uh, oh, well... Speaking of characters that you love to find things for in Evelyn, um, that's one of them. Yeah, uh, we all get dolls and Edge, and that's a, that's a well, dolls. If we have the JMs for, especially on the damage side, then uh, we can try to trivialize the battle. But when mm -hmm. we don't, uh, well, we're gonna have to, we have to kind of time it right. So, one the the, the thing to avoid from. Uh, the dolls is eliminating one set of dolls, so either the Cal or Brenna. And if one if if one side is empty of that group, then the dolls the dolls form and they, they create that creepy creepy looking doll in which Don't knock the big doll. That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, I it's like it, it I think the the so in you can see NG Dave taking advantage of using an J item, whereas Fly Goes Fly uses a spell, which is which is just good enough. They're not. I mean, with all the with all the HP in the spot, it's not it's, it's not as much as you would think. So no. Flame, despite its low damage, low spell power, it's good enough. Mm -hmm. Very much so. I, I want to call it a bit of slick menuing for Eagles. One of the things I appreciate, you know, runners doing, I I call it action economy is where less is more. Eagles actually took a second when he came out of Hobbs and saw that fight to actually reorder the characters so that Edge would actually fall into slot one when he joined so he could immediately fire off that flame and take care of the dolls. That's that's a little bit of slick menuing on Eagles' part just to ensure that Edge goes immediately and just gets right through it, whereas Angie, yeah, did have used that J item. Still works, though. Yeah, uh... Typically, um, for me, I mean, maybe I, I mean I don't race enough. I don't, but usually I would try to put the characters in the order in which I would expect them to take their turns, and mm -hmm. they go go in the or generally in the order 
assuming equal agility, which they are not in general, but just so Edge is the fastest, so he's gonna go first. So, he, and despite that, he said, um, JDMs were used, uh, and that's well, it's a choice. You can, you can. It's not like uh, those items will last you forever. It's not their their value doesn't really increase. They just kind of fade a little bit. So yeah, no. So, like you said, they're amazing early game, and then after that, it's like, well, now they're just taking up inventory space. So yeah, burn them when you got them. So I I definitely agree with you on that one. Uh, so uh, also, uh, it's like. Well, we got the the dance party, the undead dance party, which is uh, a lot of fun. Yep. And so, uh, so to answer your earlier question uh, regarding where I start, I guess it depends on who my characters are. Like, if we're talking, if I, if I like, since in, the, in this given flag set, so you could actually start with an edge or a edge or a or Sid early on, mm -hmm. and those and those characters with the buffer, I would more likely to do Eblin mm -hmm. than to. Ooh. Ooh, that's. Oh, Ooh. Well, I guess we might raid that treasury. Ooh. Boy, talk about early game. I mean, we joked about starting with it. Okay, fine. Yeah, a little bit of effort involved, but hey, here's an earth crystal. Here's 18 chests of amazingness that you get to go grab, and this can supercharge a party in no time flat. So. Yeah, with T Wildish, we've got. it's It, it rolls. Uh, really incredible stuff stuff that you could sell and be worth money even if you don't really want it so mm -hmm. there is there's value but mm -hmm. like, just as much as it could be wild it could also be junk just as well but uh and there has been you know not every uh not every time we visit uh the treasury where it's all uh awesome stuff it can just be uh great we could have uh, a treasury for 10. well uh, I'm going with this is not junk because I've already seen two defense swords, Artemis bows, Stardust Rod, Bahamut, a mutant, a two Artemis bows. That, I mean, short of a sword for edge, that hit just about every single thing you wanted to see out of this treasury. I, I saw it as dart over 10. Uh, that, <laughs> they're very expensive darts, but okay, I see your point. <laughs> I mean, we can't. We're not guaranteed cane or sea salt either. No, you, but, you are absolutely. But you know, there's something offensive about like I'm going to dart this defense sword. I could sell this in a shop for like fifty three grand, and I'm going to throw it at somebody. That is that that hurts a little. If if your boss is CPU, I, I would re I would probably rethink that a little bit. Uh, Just like, who wants to deal with CPU? Dark, it's gone. Uh, that's that's very accurate. I will agree. There there are certain bosses um, that you know some sometimes the uh, the reward is well well outweighs the money you get for it. Uh, example, everyone's favorite bikini tornado, Val Valis. Nobody wants to deal with her. So yeah, she gets darted into oblivion so yeah uh, val is a f a favorite because uh we have to rethink our her, her strategies um, just based on who we have and mm -hmm. who we have right now probably uh well with dart avail being available with edge you don't you save uh, a lot of time trying to uh try to buff someone get the, the appropriate mu multiplier to cut through and that's assuming, and that's assuming we don't have a cane. So there's right. a, so a lot of things have to go a certain way. Where uh, some you might want to, you might choose a strategy that is probably better than uh, just keeping it around and never using it. If if not, if a cane or Cecil never arrives, well, what? Uh, well, that's, well, it's kind of unfortunate. And I guess we have uh, more elements. So, so we have now we know that we can confirm Rubicant is actually the bear at the Bygan spot. Yep, yep. Now this actually is not a terrible fight. Um, elements ha has a very kind of unique order to obviously the elements come out in order, um, but their resistances are, pardon me, a little bit off the normal. Um, you're gonna see Edge do a ton of damage right there to Ruby. Uh, Ruby in this phase is technically a mage, so that mute knife on edge right now is going to do some amazing work. Yeah, uh, and well, we don't even get to see the other two phases, so there you go. It's fine. <clears throat> if yep. we if we can skip a phase, that's 
more time saved. I yep. mean, this, uh, the, and the thing about the resistances is that it includes even uh, the bow and arrow. The, well, I would just call it wind resistance. So, mm -hmm. so you're also that, so that's the kind of same element used in boomerangs and bow and arrow, uh, bow and arrows and uh, spears. Spear, spear, yes. Yep. Spear, Bring... spear. Nice, yes. nice segue into the group being spear, spear, and you know eh, that's, that's that's good work. I I appreciate that. So, okay. but uh, pointing out, Angie, very early trip up Earth. I mean, yeah, you have an edge, but I mean, the rest of your party is kind of, eh. and this Zot two fight sometimes can get a little bit tricky. So here here's hoping. Uh, we can get through this one, and it's not something that uh, has a ton of magic power that decides you well need to die. Yeah, I, it's, I'm, I'm. I mean, this. I mean, this check is strictly to not just to get the treasure, but also just oh. more characters. You want those characters now, and hey, that man. Yes. I'm, gla I'm glad we didn't throw both defense swords. <laughs> No, that's not yet. <laughs> I think he's coming along on this one. I called a hunch here, but I think that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think one of those is going on a certain individual. Or we have this nifty white spear, which uh, does turn Kane into a white. I can't believe I'm saying this. Turns Kane into a white mage. Y yes, a white mage. Yeah. That's what he is. It's it's a loose, he... it's a loose interpretation of the term, okay? <laughs> Sure. I mean, if you can cast holy, you are a white mage. It's I'm it's not... it's the yeah. definition. It's exactly. what, what could what could possibly be into, what could be possibly wrong with that? It's not, oh, there's nothing uh, wrong. Oh, so about that. Uh, uh oh. Uh, that's no. You just die. Yep. That's you just welcome to pain. Yeah. That's uh. uh -huh. it might have to. Uh, it might have to reach a healthy um, agility anchor at this point. Yep, and Wyvern Standard Time. Yep, that's a thing too. So, yeah. I mean, the good news about this, Wyvern detonates himself. This spot has 6,000 HP. It does quad nines, get one veil up, fight's over. So, Unfortunately, you have to sit through all of this again. <laughs> it, it's not too bad. You want the characters, and I think mm -hmm. it'd be worth the time. Uh, and on the other side, we see squid on the pool before ultras we have squid i feel uh, like squid was the evolution or ultras was the evolution of the squid yeah i don't think they did much in final fantasy 5 it's more it i uh, mean really. squid i mean squid is more uh yeah. they had more angry character. crabs in five and angry lobsters they had those in five they had a lot more of those uh, yeah just, yeah I don't. It wasn't. It wasn't too shocked to find them around. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Allie in chat brings up a point. See, not only does she push buttons, but she keeps an eye on things. Yeah, that means that Wyvern is not a dwarf too. So that's good information for runners to know. Um, Wyvern in that location can be really. Let's just say Dwarf 1 sometimes can be a bit rough and then going right into a Wyvern to ruin your day afterwards, that's that's not fun. So the fact that this is here and now gone, runner, runners are excited about this, that they don't have to worry about seeing Wyvern now. It's true, but there could be Ogu at that spot. And when you're when you're torn, when you're taking a, taking a, taking a lot of damage, I'm first trying round. Trying to be nice here, yeah. like come on, don't do that. Uh, it can't be the hey, we gotta be gotta expect the worst possible scenario and work your way backwards. All the spoilers as both commentary and watchers. Of course, we wanted to be Ogo Pogo. We just can't say that. Oh. But I like I like Danger Noodle everywhere. Uh, it's oh. it's it's a great time. Not a great prize from Earth. I th I think the cane was probably more valuable than anything on that one. But uh, it's I mean it's not a bad piece of routing. I mean you know an early Earth that you get through it dumps you in Baron. You're right next to Baron in another character sitting there. Yeah, we're, we're just. Essentially rotating through characters, and mm -hmm. looks like a hey, it's the the white mage hey, with it's, the it's... other Mylon. Yeah, Horam. I mean, I mean, I, I would, I mean, I would take the Borm, 
but because I, I I always need a dedicated white mage. I don't. I mean, maybe if I if, if it was a foo instead, but the, foo, foo is not available in this part of the part of the flag in terms of uh, he that um, Cecil and foo are gated. Like and normally in free enterprise, uh, edge and foo are usually gated because they're uh, for edge. Uh, he, you know, he, you have to have the hook uh, for Fu. You have to get the darkness crystal and a whole bunch of other things. But in, in here, and mostly because their their power, their natural power level is uh, incredible, at, even at base. This is more more so on Fu, but Edge is, has a lot more utility. I mean, you get to steal, you get to punch really hard. I mean, mm -hmm. the, so in in this in in this um in in so in this case, uh, we want. Having the um, have, hoping for uh, hoping for the character you want, you might not might not get is uh, you know you kind of just if it happens, I think at least from from my standpoint, if 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 it happens that hey you get the if you get Cecil, great. If the song, like, ideally, if you had the 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 drops like the Crystal Sword or the Excalibur to to get them on to get them online, then yeah, sometimes. It might be too funny in the seat, you know. Maybe you get to see the giant. Uh, yeah. Maybe that probably not so appealing because you've probably that grind probably has happened long before that. So it's a lot of when you get when you get that character and how and what you have at the moment kind of will change, you know, whether you take a character or not. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, we're gonna jump back to something you said earlier about you know our little debate involving the defense sword. Eagles was literally one turn away from imploding to that wall and decided, okay, you know what? I'm having enough of this. And threw the defense sword for 2700 damage to take care of that wall. Because, yeah, you don't want to sit through Baron in twice. So I don't blame him for that play to get through there. That's that's more than acceptable. So. I mean, you have two of them. I mean, you, worst case, you have you already have a backup weapon in the white spear. So it's like, what you, what who you, are you going to save it for? I mean, uh, twelve point eight sirens. I don't look. Hey, <laughs> that, that that only asserts that sirens appear in the seat. I mean, uh, it's a good chance of it, but you know, there's that like ten percent in the shop's availability. I, it's you know, you I, can't guarantee things. I've I've played a many seeds of this so far and i've had seeds where literally both sirens and hourglasses never showed up in a seed so i know it can happen runners are hoping it doesn't but uh, it could happen all right we get we get some sort of cards <clears throat> uh, that we get the baron guards so we just um just let edge do his thing with a mute knife yeah. in hand Yep, oh, on no. Angie's side. Yeah, Angie has the mute knife, so oh, yeah, well. his his will be straightforward. Yeah, this will be require a little more time, but not too much. Although I think we're trying to um, create the anchor right now. So I mean, tell us. Okay, so tell us not. I mean, okay, one, don't hit things with a power staff and berserk. That's that's not good. Especially don't do it on D money. I hear they're not nice. Um, also, don't berserk an egg. You heard it here first. Don't do that either. Uh, Tella's agility growth is kind of... Uh, he also starts at level 20. So, I mean, him getting a little bit of XP at the beginning, not exactly a terrible thing, but, I mean, keeping him dead, you know. He's an 8 agility anchor, so that's fair. I think he has more use as a utility mage. I mean, once you clear ordeals, he's got access to 95% of all the spells out there. So having a source of blink, berserk, wall, you know, all, all these spells, virus, that maybe, you know, a palum wouldn't have at this point. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I off them this early in the game. I think I keep them up and running. I, mean, I would lean towards that too. I mean, the levels you gain, at least at this stage, are minimal. And yeah. stat growth is, is agility growth. Doesn't you that quickly. On the other hand, um, maybe just probably just kind of like uh, muscle memory, you know. You just want to, you just, mm -hmm. just, just have, just keep them down. Don't worry about it. Don't have to think about it. And out of sight, out of mind, kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I yeah, can. I, think I, that, I was gonna say I think that has to do a lot with like earlier flag sets too, where like anchors were super important and everyone just kind of got it ingrained in their minds. 
that, oh, I need an anchor, somebody needs to stay dead. So, yeah, yeah to your point, I do see that. Um, I'm also, the, well, there's a wonderful bike at, <laughs> at, at um, the Mylon Z spot, so, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's, it's not that it's bad. I mean, yeah, he gets three attacks to your one, that's fine. I think the more annoying part is the back one actually has some spell power in this spot. So that back arm, when it uses Vampire, it actually hurts. Like, it does a respectable number of damage. So, that back arm is trouble. Yeah, the, uh, that's probably the more dangerous. Uh, the front arm does a, a paralysis. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, but you end up punching it as a, as a way to get to the center. Although well, you don't actually, I don't, I'm trying to remember if you have to. I don't think you, I don't think you do. But, uh, uh so, uh, on the, on the subject, just continue a little bit on the subject of anchoring. So I think I would, I'm less likely to anchor when you have four characters. I, I think the, the value, I mean, you're still gonna, I mean, you want, I mean, it's okay at the end game where you have like a, like a just a character just to use for the for the zero ohms fight just to to have that that just the end game anchor that I, that I can clearly get, but yeah. I think the value you want I think you want your characters upright a lot longer. Given that we have four characters, you just you just don't know if you got run into a situation where you need everyone on deck, and that's and that's what I that would be my thinking when you, on, on a set where you have less than the the maximum amount of characters you have. It's it's a valid point with a caveat to it. There are certain places that if you don't have an anchor, your life becomes infinitely more difficult. Fortunately for us, looking at the objective list, there's maybe exactly one spot where that becomes a pro well, technically two. But you know, my my mind goes immediately to the Fey March and trying to run those without an anchor, depending on what's sitting there. Uh, those can ruin your day very easily and very fast. Um, the element spot up on the giant has ridiculous agility. If you're not anchored for that, uh, whatever's sitting there is going to get a ton of turns before you get to move. But yeah, for the most part, I, I feel like runners kind of understand that like, yeah, there are things that, you know, you can get away with not having an anchor for. But there are some that just like, if you go into... You know, we've already seen Wyvern, but if you go to the moon unanchored and you hit a Wyvern at, you know, the Ribbon Room, good luck. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, because you're probably dead. And just running practice seeds and, you know, watching people play this, I've already seen people, you know, do these group stages where it's like, I can't get past this. I need to go back to Mysidia and grab an anchor. So it's like, it can happen. So I, I, I feel like it, it's up two minds, depending on the runner and how comfortable they are with, you know, manipulating uh, battle speed, like shifting battle speed up and down, um, rotating characters, possibly finding a cursed ring, using a dwarf axe to their advantage. Um, just depends on the runner. So, and for eagles, I mean, hey, maybe keeping Tella down is, is a good thing for him. Yeah, I, I mean the anchoring situation. I think when it when it's really want, warranted. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I'm, I'm more towards like I want to keep them upright at least up to a point. I guess you want to yeah. like tell uh, like for all for for all he is. I uh, if he's I mean probably the ideal anchor actually because it's just he's like you you only use him for his spells. And you don't if you, when you don't need them, um, you can you can finally take the nap. It's it's fine. It, it, mm -hmm. But I the, the you want I'm saying more, more like to say you want that I guess the angry character to contribute as mm -hmm. as long as they as long as they can until the point where they can't or you are you are at kind of like at power overwhelming. Right. So I, I'm yeah it's like there are definitely especially when we are getting to the moon yeah the the situations get tougher and your options. Uh, well, you have to, you have, you have to, like, it's one of those, you have to kind of keep it in the back of your mind when you're anchoring. Like, who is that, who is that character? And given that we do have a limited, kind of limited supply of characters, um, mm -hmm. that we want to, you just gotta, I guess, keep it in your ba back of your mind. Just, hey, um, might need it for Zeromus because, you know, Zeromus. 
Yeah, exactly. And uh, the, the great part is because, you know, the there's 99 runners in the tournament. I'd, I'd lie and say no to, we'll use the same anchor. Most of us, we have ideas on anchors and who we'd like to use, but you'll see people do things that you might think is silly, out of the ordinary, whatever you want to call it, but it works. You know, Kane with a drain spear is an anchor. Sid with a dwarf axe is an anchor. Edward dead. I mean, that's normal. That's just a day that ends in the Y. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, base level Rydia tends to be one of the big favorites uh, because her agility is so low that, uh, you know, all of a sudden Fu can now become a relative agility one character. So, I mean, yeah, there's going to be a lot of variants. It's just a matter of when characters show up. And as the runners are playing in their mind, it's like, okay, who do I grab? Who do I put in the center? What do I use in order to get through to seat as fast as possible? Yeah, I would, I would say, uh, I, and we see uh, dark, um, dark elf in the dwarf one spot. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I think, keep in mind, I think we all want to keep track of one. Do you have a cursed ring? Which is no, I th for I think for seeing enough running, it's probably the number one thing everyone wants available. So, this, so, mm -hmm. you, so you're gonna. You probably will have to spend time shopping for it, or hope, it, or to be become a loot goblin up to a point. Right. Um, but uh, having uh, having characters, mostly just any sort of agility manipulating piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about uh, the more common ones: uh, ninja hat, which is kind of high tier. Uh, crystal rings, fairly up there. Yep. And usually the weapons. So we're talk so um, even something Warcraft. like an avenger. Uh, yep, assassin that's, knife. Yeah, assassin yes. knife. Mm -hmm. uh, Artemis bow. Uh, even drain spear. Drain spear with the negative set. Anything that manipulates it, positive or negative, it doesn't matter. As long as it allows you to do some math, yep. not on stream, yep. <laughs> to uh, just to figure out, um, you know, how to how to get you out of a tough situation because you you there's just that you if you don't have the way to manipulate agility, it the essentially some 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 of those bosses will kind of roll you over and yeah they just those are become, not good. i mean i hate to say impossible but they kind of become impossible so i mean if you have to leave the moon to grab an anchor i mean that that kind of says a lot about you know certain bosses in certain locations and what it can do to you know due to a run or you know due to you i mean you know, and, and things like that, they kind of do affect your mindset when you have to, you know, bow out of a fight that you just know can't be done. So, so yeah, keeping an eye out for stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot that goes, there's it's those fine details. There's a lot that goes into this. Oh, and by the way, you still have to play the game and go fast while yeah. recognizing all this stuff while you're playing the game. Yeah, that, that's, uh, those are, uh, I mean, no one. <laughs> Hey, speaking of agility, yeah. Manip, there's one. <laughs> Heron robes are fantastic. <laughs> yeah, well, they also turn your mage into a less, berserker. Less mage. Yeah, yeah, less mage. Not quite so mage. They, they become, I, personally, I would just call them more, they become, they just, you just convert them into a utility mage, ultimately. I mean, they'll still be able yeah. to heal, but they, they just won't be impact, the same impact, or they won't do as much uh, damage on the enemy. Mm -hmm. But I think, I would, but for the most part, they they don't become like Tella per se. But they sometimes at the lower levels they become they 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 uh, they do have their impression of Tella uh, in yeah. terms of magic, which yeah. is a uh, uh, kind of uh, something. They they do stuff. Yep. yep. Okay. So things we missed: one Angie through dwarf. Yay. Uh, Eagles looks like going to do the Sheila one setup to see what comes out of there. So. I mean, you look at, so, I mean, you look at these parties. Oh, well, hi there. I, 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 I saw a paladin. Yeah, I see tough decision and I, we swapped, we, we swapped a betrayer for a paladin. So I guess, I mean, I think I would probably do the same. I mean, you have most, you have the same, they have kind of the same setup, like hmm. swords, axes, the, the, they, they share the same power weapons and Cecil mm -hmm. has more has a lot more to offer beyond that 
Well, so, and you're looking at, too, like, you look at this party comp. It's like, cool, I have DPS. I have a metric ton of DPS. I have, in all reality, an anchor, and I have a white mage. Like, this is kind of end game. Like, don't be surprised to see NG sit on this party and just be like, this is my end game. I just need to get equipment, find a shiny stick for Cecil, and go blow up literally everything. Yeah, that's yeah, that's I mean, that's the dream. I think I mean the only word, the only thing you might want to maybe, maybe as an optimization, if we encounter a Rosa or a Fu, then Porum might get mm -hmm. might get the boot. We just yeah. we Porum for all I, I, and I love Porum. Uh, the the thing she learns her spells a uh, not a little bit sl slower. So she's mm -hmm. she's she's compared to Rosa. Uh, uh, Rosa is like some uh, Rosa's usually usually the preferred mage, but also because she's tankier, she has more life. She has more life oh, yeah. to tank all the damage. So it's what. So usually things that uh, reasons that usually you see a Porum get traded up for a Rosa and mm -hmm. Fu for just having the immediate spell supply. I mean, who doesn't yeah. who doesn't want the the entire spell list in one character? Uh, yeah, there, well, that guy. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, Ali brings up a good point. Ooh, a moon veil. Uh, don't underestimate the power of a moon veil, especially when you have Cecil on your party. It does let you do some things you normally probably shouldn't be doing. Uh, namely, exactly in spots that hit you really, really hard in the face. Yeah, moon, a moon veil is essentially wall and blink. In one, but it's a more like, not even a blink, it's like a strong, it's essentially semi perma blink where uh you, you just don't, don't take you damage. just don't yeah you miss yeah. every hit misses it's yeah. it's it's it's, uh, it's the it's items people would, will, would love wanting as long as you don't make the mistake of doing like a star veil and then follow up with a moon veil on the same character and then you're gonna have mm -hmm. a bad time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. now okay now saying that there is one exception to that it's a really oddball screwball exception but if you're concerned about doing like reflect strats on a Z fight and you reflect a moon veil onto Z, at least you know you can't trigger the phase change because he's now immune to all physical damage. So the, you know, reflecting spells and everything is kind of nice. So you don't accidentally bonk him. So that's kind of nice. But other that's the niche one in never case that you're dealing with. Yeah, the. That would actually, well, that would actually make some. That would make the accidental. Whoops! I triggered uh, the uh -huh. HP thing. Yeah, the hold A. Because yeah. yeah, no, we all haven't done that before. Accidentally tipped Z into a reef. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the timing of that would be a bit difficult, but still doable. It, I don't, but I don't think I. I would try to casually use a moon fail for that. I would just want it for the reflect. Uh, but, but yeah, that's. Yeah. It, there are, I mean, the, there are some, in, like, you can use it for niche situations, like, you can actually kind of do the same thing, like, uh, like, uh, you've, you've, you've seen, I've seen, uh, like, say, CPU strats, which we didn't have, we didn't have to worry about this seed, uh, but, you know, something where you reflect and then try, and, you, you know, you want to try to get the float status on, uh, the, mm -hmm. the attacker, mm -hmm. well, you can do kind of the same thing with the, you can still do the same thing with the moon veil, but you just it's just it's the it but it's but it's doesn't even require you to cast blink on blink on it which yeah, right. but that again same it's the kind of same idea same strategy just different application of the same item yep and uh you no know, mom bomb well, i guess it eh, should be okay i'll also point to ally uh, telling ng to open treasure chest ally we all know the rule they caught schrodinger's crystal sword for a reason Okay, every chest you don't open has a crystal sword in it. The ones that you do open usually have like long swords or fire bombs or something terrible that you really don't want in your life. So, <laughs> that being said, though, the trap chest in Evelyn, don't be surprised. I knowing knowing Angie, don't be surprised if you see maybe a side trip, uh, going back upstairs to maybe kind of stop in Neblin and maybe take a swing at one of the trap chests uh, because this is T-Wildish uh, those chests Excal Crystal Sword Adamant those three they are all tier 8 
combined the three chests in Eblin, you were about a 75% shot of hitting one of them out of there. And any one right now with a Cecil in your party kind of breaks the game wide open. Uh, well, we just saw um, Fly Eagles Fly uh, take a oh, unfortunate no. wipe earlier, and now he gets the free boss in the fr essentially the freest of boss yeah, spots you don't want to see them here oh not a good time but well, i mean terrible. i mean it's free it's freer than free <sighs> it, i mean it could be worse that's oh uh, she could it be worse uh i mean water hag well something. hold on define worse i mean water hag has a script and takes forever at least the alt gauntlet well no the alt gauntlet just sucks in that spot um <laughs> uh, yeah uh also hi, hi raiders welcome everyone from free enterprise 2. welcome to the stream hi we're racing yes that is an edward that you currently see on the left side of your screen don't worry just don't spoil the match that you just came from. That's all. Yeah, you know, if you've been around the block, newspapers hurt. They do. Newspaper paper cuts suck. Don't get hit with a newspaper. I don't like paper cuts. No. Oh, they are so terrible. It, it, it's the kind of it's like kind of the damage where you realize like, oh wait, now it, and then then suddenly the 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 the, the cut starts like actually <laughs> affect you. It's like. You don't mm -hmm. notice it, and then when you do notice it, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's just that itchy burn of like, oh, yeah. So, uh, one thing brought up, though, uh, Eagles. Yeah, first objective on the table. That is number four. So, the super cannon is not quite so super anymore. Yes. So, oh, yeah. look at that. You know what? I'm a fan. I love coming underground, and you don't have the pan. So you go do everything underground, Dwarf Castle, the freebie, anything to possibly get the pan so you don't have to come back down here and lo and behold, the top of tower. Yep, you got the pan. Well, we, well, <laughs> Fly Eagles Fly might, well, once, once, uh, I mean, I think uh, Mom Bomb was faded, right? So yeah. that's not, so uh, my, if, if that gets last location, it, it will, it's, well, then that's what I think. Sometimes when you, you're, you're trying to optimize, uh, you mm -hmm. want to minimize the chains that, like, dependency. So, so in this case, in the pan, you want to try to defer until you get the pan. Right. Which sometimes will will help hurt you. Sometimes it helps you. It's a, like sometimes the pan turns out to be nothing. Which, like, you just everything's on Sheila one. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, so it can. It's it's part of it's part of the randomizer. You don't know which uh what can will come but you just no. hope it doesn't it doesn't actually come back to bite you yeah so. it could be it could be nothing it could be everything so eh, we'll see we'll see ng will make his way up there soon tm but not yet so we get to see eagles go through uh, dwarf castle fortunately we know for a fact eagles is going to be obscenely happy with what happens when this dark elf goes away because, so, I mean, who doesn't like a Cecil just kind of strolling out and be like, Hey, do you want me in your party? Yes. Yes, I really, yes, please, please. I have a bard. I'd like to trade you for the bard, please. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of the, I think that the, I think the, the major difference, I think, up to this point is uh, uh, Eagles has not done the Zoc trap, so mm -hmm. the levels on the characters aren't quite the same level as NG days. And so, what, so, which is probably why the mom bomb fight were pr drastically different. It's, yeah. just, it's one of those uh, you're not quite at the level you want to be at the time you actually need it to be. So, mm -hmm. so it's, yeah, it's a, it's a and usually it's a gamble, kind of a gamble a that early on to do Zot unless you're more comfortable. With, I mean, Zot is, uh, well, not the most. It's not. It's early game, but it's uh, difficult compared to everything else up to that point. So if you, if you, when you're more experienced, it's easier to try to tempt Zot and kind of be comfortable. Even though Zot itself didn't come up with a, you know, a key item that, that was required, but the characters that you act that you probably want to trade up for. 
Right. And, you know, it's, I mean, it's more than that, too. Obviously, the experience. I mean, it's, you know, 9,000 at the first spot. It's 9,500 at the second spot. I mean, 19 grand in experience, more or less. That, that, that adds up. You, you get a few levels out of that, and that can be the difference between a couple hundred HP, having Blink, having Berserk, you know, whatever it may be. So, yeah. I mean, it, given it's not an egg, but early game i mean two three levels can make a world of difference so and you have the, you have the factor in that ng dave essentially when coming up the tile ended up getting the cane but then traded mm -hmm. that for his cecil immediately after so so while the net the net change overall is xp to whatever this rest of his party but the the characters he got uh, wouldn't have made a difference like like so it's kind of it's it's you still so the, that's kind of the net cane i guess it's not it's Something, it's one of those uh, you traded one for the other, and sometimes even if you the, you kind of kind of traded away Kane in mm -hmm. in uh, along along the way, mm -hmm. it's it's still a, it's still an upgrade for the time you needed it. So it's, well, it, it, it's not so much like even just trading the Kane. It's like okay, so what did Kane do in that very short stint that Angie had him? Well, Kane wielded a white spear. Guess what? Dark Elf don't like white spears. <laughs> So it's like you didn't. It's it's not that you know Kane was you know Kane just got jettisoned immediately. It's, yeah, he was low level, but he did a few things very well while he was you know that few minutes in the party. And I mean, we how many ties have we seen so far in tournaments? Like minutes, minutes are important. Yeah. Also, that is an interesting. Uh, uh huh. That's an interesting march. My eyeball went immediately to the one on the left. I think I just mi I missed it. I was pro I was paying attention well, to the other fight. Let, the... Let's just say if you had an Edward or a Kane, you could do a really nifty trick with the one on the left. Oh, but that's the uh -huh. o sounds like an uh -huh. Odin to me. Uh huh. Love. So. There's, there's some yeah, there's some uh, some just <laughs> some shenanigans that can happen with <laughs> with. Uh, with Odin, but yeah. uh, I think we. But I think both. Oh wait, no. Eagles has still has the Edward. So yes. Once we once we go back, that will be uh, that will be something tempted still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's once again it's those niche ten techniques, but they're really fun when you pull them off though. So <laughs> yeah. I think Engie's gonna spy the sparkle and see what it is. Um, if this is. Who's left on the table in Spark? It's Plague. We're hoping it's Plague. That's yeah. not Plague, but that's not terrible. Punchy Dragon. Oh, mm -hmm. as long as you don't, as long as you don't cast any elemental magic, and or so, use a summon, you're fine. Yeah. I mean, if the punishment is making you go slower, well, I guess I'll be slower. It's yeah, okay. Exactly. It's exactly. okay. And you can but. slow, you can slow the Peltum just as, just to be fair. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's a little bit of a time-consuming fight. I mean, you know, 20, like 22, 25,000 HP and you're doing 1,200 to swing. Eh, it's going to take a little bit, but I mean, you will get through the fight. Yeah, the Azure spot is, is fairly well known. So, I mean, the slow is always going to hit. I, I, I think I've never, I don't think I've ever seen slow ever miss. So it doesn't, so you might, so you see slow, you're going to get hit with it. It's okay. It doesn't hurt you. Yeah, you go slower. And yeah, the spot is pretty is fairly fast, but eh, the the spot is balanced to be to be punchy. So you're not you're not if if Pale Dim was on the other spot, then I'd at least be more concerned. Where uh, like some space spots like Leviathan, where they don't punch, usually punch, uh, they don't get balanced, so they punch even harder, and it hurts even more. Well, I'll tell you what, if I honestly be brutally honest with you, I kind of wish that maybe Pale Dim was in the other spot, because that's a perfect reason to use a Moon Veil. You just set up cover strats on Cecil, throw out the Moon Veil, and the fight's free. So, yeah. that's, that's about how fast it goes. Yeah, Moon Veil, when, for any, <laughs> any spots that are just strictly punchy, yeah, that's, it's, it, it, it's gold. It's, yeah. it's instant, it's instant XP, essentially. Which, Odin is punchy, 
we both know this, unfortunately, it's what happens after he punches you the first three times. It's what comes afterwards that's the problem. Yeah, well, those aren't punches. Those are one magical slice. <laughs> those sure. uh, those hurt. Though, I don't think that... It, well, actually, no, it is actually pretty strong at that position. Not, not as strong as the Jura in terms of magic, but it's, it's, strong, it's still strong enough to... Uh, well, still take KO the whole party. It'll kill you. I mean, you have a thousand HP on your party. No, you die. <laughs> so, I mean, at at uh, at spots where there's less magic, the, there, it's less threatening. But it just, mm -hmm. but these these both spots are pretty high in magic. The Jura spot, spot much uh, much worse. higher. Yeah, way worse. I mean, the, we always joke about you know, obviously you know we're 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 on the runner side. We want the runners to do well, but. I mean, there is kind of a short list of things that we want to see on the right side of the march, you know, like Ruby, the sisters, <laughs> anything where magic power, you just, oh, does it hurt? Oh, it's so much. Okay, fun is, it's a word, but uh, <laughs> it's great fun to watch. Yeah, we. Uh. I think we just saw Bimmy and Jimmy on the screen, uh, the double dragons. Hey. Yeah. All right, so what's the prize? What do we get? Hoping for you something know, good. How many times have you played this game where you've killed a boss and been like, boy, that prize would have been useful literally, oh, I don't know, two minutes ago before the fight? Yeah. There you go. But we well, we needed the character that would able to wield it, and frankly, yeah. it's, uh, it's fine. Yeah, the it's semantics, a... you know, uh, maybe the game just assumed you were going to still have them there. Yeah. It's okay. I think it looks like Odin will looks like NG Dave will tackle Odin later. I don't, and mm. I don't blame him. This is not that spot is punchy, and that spot w left long enough will uh, mm -hmm. will leave scars. So let's just so let's come back later. Maybe we'll bring Edward just for fun. I mean, we get where this is not C by is not on. So they when they're yeeted, they are not yeeted forever. They every uh, every character that gets that leaves the party goes into the Tower of Wishes, kind of like in the advanced porch. They'll be there hanging around, waiting yep. to be picked up and swapped out for someone. Yep, yep. absolutely. So, yeah, uh, Angie obviously going down Luca. Um, not a requirement. It is roughly about a minute and eight seconds to do this walk all the way down and see if this item's worth it. The good news, at least on this one, if it's something useful, fantastic. If not, you reset all the way back out to the entrance. But it is a minute and eight seconds that you're burning walking down here. So that's that's one of those, you're in the neighborhood. Yeah, you look at the key items that we have right now, there's, there's still kind of a lot that you're looking for. So do I disagree with this play? No, not at all. So... Just this... don't overwrite your save. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yes, I, I, that's, that's the thing. I mean, you want we want to take advantage of save points. I mean, we have four slots. You, you can use them all and to whatever to whatever you want to do with it. So I, this, so take advantage of that. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's what they're there for. But yep. also that the information. I mean, this flag set is designed for completion, being a completionist. So to do yeah. everything is not you don't have to literally do everything but you if you're practically doing everything you yeah. have to check you don't want to because you don't want to come back down here and find out oh my, the th thing i really needed was here so yeah it's it's better to find out and look they're gambling yeah, yeah. That, that's what this game is it is gambles yeah you kind of follow the items as you go along and you know etc so forth but i mean that luca key that's a gamble it's not an objective you're hoping that a baron key, a hook, something is down there where like, hey, big brain play. And if you're not, you just gave your opponent a minute. Or you're assuming that your opponent's going to do the exact same thing you're doing and it's a wash. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's it's decisions it's decisions you make now. For, we'll, co we'll come back to either haunt or benefit you. So it's okay. It's You just make decisions and just deal with the consequences of it. It's a bad <laughs> that's what this game is it is it is all about the consequences so <laughs> so hey look at this and she's finally doing full defense that only took him 51 minutes 
So I think we're, I think we're concluding the. Well, it's either gonna be behind the pan, right? Is the doctor's gonna be behind the pan, be. or behind uh, behind Odin. the Odin? The Odin mm -hmm. would be a lot more fun for us <laughs> for commentating. I'm, I'm, I'm here, raising my hand. I'm here for fun. Anybody else here for fun? Yeah. So speaking of fun, by the way, make sure you go follow the runners, follow NG, follow Eagles, follow Deathlike, follow Ali, follow Nayabari. You notice I omitted not my name completely. Don't follow me. Don't worry about me. The other ones are great. Uh, I wish I had it. I, I know the I know this twi having a. I don't have a Twitch account, so uh, I'll have to eventually. Oh. At some point. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, you should. I should. should. Yeah, but it's 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 kind of oh. one of those time things. Oh, there's the hook. Of course. Yep. That's a good. But that's. Well, now here's the thing, though. That's Sheila one. I'm curious about two. Could be could be wombo uh, combo of key items. We'll let's see. That's one. It's... Okay, that could be something. Yes, we can actually trade it in immediately. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. It could actually be. It could actually be what we. Need. So I guess. Oh. I, I think that's the first thing Dave's gonna do. Like, my, you once you do your objectives and you get trade in for the next key item, you you do it as soon as you possibly can. Mm hmm Exactly. Um, I've heard rumors. Now, don't don't quote me on this, folks. But I've heard rumors. The the old joke before the Advent Cup was that every time you went to turn in the pink tail, it's always a white shirt until it isn't. I hear the rat tail has taken up that mantle. So don't quote me on this, but this is probably in all reality a white shirt. Just just letting y'all put that out there. Is is it is is it a bias against white shirts? Is, do you want no, did you want something always, else? It's always just, a white shirt until it isn't. That's, that's a, not a white that's a, shirt. That that's is sickly something. Yeah, that's a sickly something I thought was gonna eventually happen. And here that we is are. everything not a white shirt. So that pan is huge. There's a, that doesn't, that doesn't uh, leave the leave Odin off the hook. At the no, no, there. not at all. It could yeah. it could literally be the Baron key, and that could might, be music. It could, yeah, it, it could, could be, be art. Yeah. yeah. So, I. Uh, I think it's, it's. I think it's safe to say we'll come back down if we really have to. I think the, this was gonna probably result in just the full clear of the moon. Mm -hmm. And if we don't get the item, we're coming to come back down for Odin. It's 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 it's, it's a logical thing. It's it's not a bad play. Uh, I hope Eagles somehow gets pushed back underground and takes another swing at that top of tower. But I mean, let's face it. Usually, it's like if you fail an attempt. He's already done the tower key. So going back all the way up to do that fight, it's a long proposition. I I don't know if he does. I hope he does. So I think we have like Ogo and Plague left on for uh for the the um, lunar character and mm -hmm. get a Sid. So I mm -hmm. don't I don't think that's gonna be what we can see. Pick well maybe to replace Edward. I, I, we'll see. Yeah, Apex brings up an amazing point. Yeah, launching the Falcon puts you right. Like, if this, if you were gonna reroute it back in, this would be exactly the time to do it. Yeah, this is perfect Dave. for Eagles. Dave yeah. will just is gonna. Dave looks like he just wanted the shop. I'm not gonna do the Falcon now. I guess mm -hmm. I thought I thought they were both gonna do it at the same time, which would have been nice. But eh, eh, whatever. I mean, so Moon is fine. Here. Yeah, the, here's the thing about that Falcon is. You know, we, we've we all played multiple flag sets. Obviously, the Adamant Cup. For some of us, yeah, this is our first go-around. For a lot of us, it is not. We all know how nasty hook routes can be. And you know what? If we can put it off until we have power over stupid, um, I'm all for it. <laughs> so if that hook route has to wait till almost endgame, whatever is sitting at that sparkle is not going to like me when I come back to it. Yeah, I think, well, given that we have the early pass, I, I mean, this is, then it's easier to kind of, it's kind of a easier pill to swallow in terms of like, eh, mm -hmm. like for Dave, like, you have the darkness whistle, so it's kind of like, go, not, no, since this is not go mode, but it's more like go mode for getting more of the key items he needs to complete the seed. Mm -hmm. Whereas Fly Eagles Fly is, yes, it's more of a convenience, oop, I didn't finish it this first time, we can do it this time, it's, right. it's fine. Um, 
you though, uh, ironically, I think uh, the Rubicon spot usually harder than the Ma the Doctor Luge spot. But the I mean, his timing now he's got more levels. He's probably it's much more doable. Yeah. And just hoping for whatever the surprise is at the King Queen Evelyn before the Rubicon spot. B oh, is the question. Hey, so you know how much damage this does? About six hundred every time, and here comes three of them. Yeah, this is... And you're dead. Yeah, time for a reset. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've all been here. We've all been here. You walk in, you see that sprite, you're like, can I menu fast enough for that? Now you just die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of the, it's one of the surprise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's when you route these things, and this is probably this is. Yeah, not the best of times. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, this whatever is behind that is probably likely not as threat, not as threatening as this. So Unless the good news Ogre. is, you have two characters right now that have HP above the 600 threshold. So the problem is, in order to make this work, Edge and Cecil kind of have to play the "Hey, I'm gonna throw a cure two or cure three on one of you," and then you kind of have to throw the same potion on that character so like example this is gonna fire edge needs to get a cure three out on himself right now i think it might be enough uh, that will be enough Shit. so he's there through. so yeah yeah someone has to essentially someone has to just be the one living yeah it's, it's like you yeah. are destined to die but you are the chemist and you're the one that gets this party through this so yeah so this is this is just good enough and one of the good things about the about the spot this is not specifically free enterprise but you can save Go back to save immediately after. Uh, I think when the spells are unleashed, and then you just go, just go, go, just run back to the save point. It's something that not a lot of people are aware of, but you really should try. Like, just I think it's when he, it's the point where it's supposed to get angry, get his spells, and then just move, go mm -hmm. back, run yeah. back. So on Angie's side, though, we see a turtle and a reset out of the turtle. Yeah, that turtle. Um, <laughs> about that yeah uh, Baham, yeah bahamid bahamid spot is pretty fast he, he count he's like the reverse count so yeah yeah so the the, the way the turtle operates is tur turtle punch turtle brings up wave and then turtle decides that whatever remaining hp it has that you're going to take roughly four to six percent of that as damage so you either get rid of the wave and basically lock it into just punching you which oh by the way in that spot really hurts or you do enough damage to it that you survive the wave uh that's not a great spot for that turtle so yeah. but that's a great character on the lunar dais though it's time to eat the porn right uh no, no, no we're upgrading we're upgrading uh, we're replacing the old man with another old man superior old man i get well uh, that depends unless you're a certain uh Crash Panda and try to cast like stone with them and then there's probably opinions on who's the better old man but that's a conversation for a different time <laughs> yeah. so plague and plague at any spot is uh well he's counting down to your doom and so a lot of typical strats for that is to just take down one of your guy one of your characters usually mm -hmm. the, usually the weakest and um and revive them so one of one of the specific uh, parts of the script is, hey, is everyone does everyone have counts? Everyone on the enemy team have count status. Well, if not, do it. You, you use the count status. Just inflict the count status. So, but I think we're looks like we're going full berserk. So then, which is another thing that, um, which is, cut is an interesting uh, tactic. So ideally, you want to get two. Probably even three with Porum, you know, with the, with the bow and arrow setup, just to just to do the damage. Tele can take a nap; it doesn't matter. We just want everyone go full. It's, this is not Quint. It's some. It's uh, I don't even know what the term is. But everyone is berserked, and they don't die because uh, uh, ATB black magic. I mean, agility is black magic. For anyone that hasn't been here, you don't. Agility is just it works okay <laughs> that's the idea is this works don't question the how or the why it just works yeah 
So it's it's it so it, it so it never it so part of the algorithm it doesn't just doesn't tick down because uh, something when it tries to resolve it uh, no it doesn't want to. So it it's a it can and it doesn't I think I mean if we manipulate manipulate agility that might change the formula but strangely enough uh, fast does not actually speed or alter the timer at all which is a good thing because then you get to uh, let them do more. Do more bonking. You know, that's the because we need more bonks in our life. But also, um, what else? Oh, and the thing, and the thing about when uh, when play casts haste on you is that your when it misses, it's because uh, outside of it missing because its uh, accuracy isn't that great, but it's not for like not 100%. It's like kind of like 75%. Um, your it's actually because any magic spell cast upon you whether it's beneficial or or lethal uh, it, it works against your magic defense so when you're when some characters don't get hit it's because they evaded even though it's a beneficial status so this is it's it, it's one of those quirks in how uh in how uh the the came t decided to, do, to get it to go so yeah. So anything, so anything beneficial, even if it was, even if it was like Azura casting two or four on you, it, it's it's fighting against your <laughs> magic evasion. Mm -hmm. and, oh, now we get now we get to see the slowest crumble ever known to well, second slowest crumble. The one at Baron two is way worse. Take it from experience; it's horrible. Well, we can, hey, I see Doctor Dr. Luggage. Yeah, love Doctor Dialogue. Doctor Dialogue's not having a good day right now. I think I'm going to worry about the laser part. Uh, it might hurt. I, th I think he's got enough damage to outschedule it. I think we're going to be okay. So, one, so yeah, this, oh yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the gas is uh is is not work has isn't working on any of the poison characters uh, due to uh, status priorities. So one of the things about status is, is that. You know, death is a more you know the strongest assassin, and we get some fur. That's awesome. Uh, and the other, the and the so and like behind that would be petrification, and this whole host of statuses. So basically, in the in, in this essentially as a status order. So poison is higher up, higher further up than um, sleep. So any t any time um, Doctor Luke tries to inflict sleep, well, it fails. Poison is there, and that prevents it from working. But poison also prevents uh, things like berserk. Berserk is farther farther down the chain. So it so if you have a status ailment, other than say the gradual petrification, you're gonna you won't be able to berserk your character. So the, it's it's one of those uh, quirks of Final Fantasy IV that prob that don't make it to the later Final Fantasy. It's a finely coded game. It's not like it's older than a lot of people watching currently. Like, come on! Oh, that's free. <laughs> as long as, long as uh, Fu gets the turn in. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's it's for you just hourglass them and yeah. only three people can die here, so somebody lives. Let Unless you're Angie and you just want to swag and be like, oh, I'm just gonna cough on them. Why not? That's, somebody's still gonna get punched. Also, worst attack and magic combined in the game at this spot. Usually most things you find in this spot are designed to kill you and they do very well at it. So. Yeah, like as if Ogo actually needed all of that. It <laughs> Ogo really doesn't need that much of because uh, due to what the, uh, due to the skill set, uh, it uses. It doesn't need. Uh, well, punchy. It's like eh, it's, it's normal. Oh, we get okay. Even well, one that super stick. Two. I need to call a fiery blizzard. The game is only thirty. There's a lot of people in here that aren't thirty. Okay. Spoilers. I'm well. I'm well past that mark. So don't worry about me. But there's a lot of people in here that are under the age of this game. So it's okay. It's okay. No worries there. Uh, <laughs> so now we can use our previous best burr now even improved and now we can throw literally throw away the old one well you know. we can kind of throw away the entire party more or less at this point we have a cecil we have bacchus wine we have a cecil and we have bacchus wine like 
Well, not every solution requires a burr. Mm, I feel like most solutions are improved by it, though. That is true. But... Yeah. So, and the only one that usually causes problems with the whole burr, technically there's two. They're both gone. So, oh, well, then there's that one. Yeah, I was about to, I was upon point to think mm. of this particular burr, because this particular uh, boss, Demist, I think people lovely called Derek. I don't know why. Where, where do we get the name? I have no idea. Well, the uh, beast got to stand for something. It's supposed to mean, I mean for dragon, but I, I mean, don't. What, this... do you, what do you want to call him? Donnie? Dave? Dave Mist? Sure. <laughs> yeah, so, Hi, uh, Dave. <laughs> Denise. There you go, Denise Mist. Yeah. So, so um, the one, the so what what makes Demist really challenging? is that you can't use Berserk, and you can see with the fa the Mist phase, you can't do anything to demist while in this phase. You can do a lot of other things, like heal up, uh, put up Berserk, do something, but uh, you, this phase is usually not is one where uh, things happen where we have like something like an Avenger, and you have an uncontrollable Cecil, and things happen you're not happy with i feel <laughs> so, like you're i feel like you're calling me out on this <laughs> no it's uh i think the one thing and i and i don't see i don't haven't seen people try this but oh uh, I, I like the idea you can so one of the things uh i would call the set of uncontrollable statuses we're talking about berserk charm uh sleep paralysis um is that um berserk is is actually one of the lowest one of the lowest statuses that you can apply so but that means that if you you instead of trying to say um say uh make the berserk character take a nap i don't know i don't know what other things other ways like other, take a nap like other like petrif petrifying them or just killing them outright you can tr you can gamble using a charm using charm the spell so you're just fairly low level, uh, things like twenties for uh, Rosa and Perom, and Tella starts with it. I'm not uh, charming. No, I'm not could... charming a crystal sword Cecil. To stop no, no, no. Him this is not this... that, and he I... starts getting my party. That no, is you have to. You, so, so what? So, <laughs> let, me, no. uh, I, let, let me try to explain this. So, ah. so what you want to do is you charm Cecil. And then you follow that up with a punch. You have to make sure the punch hits because so, there's no you. You need at least inflict one hit. And this is more useful for Avenger. So what what happens with Avenger is it try when Avenger is uh, character is charmed, whatever was last queued is still going to target uh, the enemy. So that means Steam Miss is going to be hit. So and then you're going to trigger the counter. Blah blah blah. That, that's that's uh, that's that's nothing because uh, the damage from from the counter attack is minuscule. So what you but you can put the Avenger character under control. So once once you've followed up with a hit on the Avenger the Avenger character, you'll go back to the same thing that the Avenger depends on is when the turn comes, then it will the character will be rebeserved and um, follow up with some more smashing. So, so this, so in, in the cases where you have an Avenger and D. Dot Miss is the boss, you can actually you can control the character to a degree. It's, it's. I'm not sure it's like the best strat, no, but I think no, it's something yeah. you might want to try. Just <laughs> please, though. No. It's a, it's a oh thought. I, you, I, I, I will stick to the tried and true, very nominal use of things called a silver staff and a unicorn. And basically just shut down the berserk completely as necessary. Those, those those seem to imply that I don't die as a side effect of it. No, I would prefer those. I'm just saying if you don't, um, more of a this is more for the Avenger, not so much the other yeah. two, because you can't you can't use those items on the uh, you can't really use those on the Avenger character because although I think those probably still would actually work better in, uh, in some ways. You'd have to. You should have to get back to the character's turn before the auto berserk re gets reapplied. But that's... Oh, while, while this discussion was going on, though, Sand Ruby and Package were both in the ribbon room. So you, so you want more characters? No, you ignore them both because you already have Fu <laughs> and Vessel. So why do you care about any other character in the game right now? Like, pff, they're done. Go away. 
the seed so. the seed is giving you a message it's trolling you yeah. it's, that's what yeah. it is yeah no that's that's done so yeah ng 10 key items now actually well beyond 10 key items so yeah use your sirens use your hourglasses do some xp get some levels on some people go blow up the rest of the moon and i mean your next stop after this is the giant so you kind of want levels for those two fights so so and we yet, have, yeah. i do have a reason why i'm gonna say the giant is next but go ahead no i have def i probably agree with that i'm thinking just about to say the follow-up uh you know if you're doing any grind uh any anytime you have hourglasses it makes your makes your grind safe that's all and that's all that really matters yep. whether it's uh eggs or anything you don't just just don't die yeah. <laughs> don't die don't berserk a freaking d money because you decided to try kill it with a power staff and then it murders your entire party that doesn't feel good don't 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 do that just you know play it safe and life is great also Nybari brings up a valid point that odin is still looming very large yeah it, it's i mean there's i mean there's also the case where one chains into the other where maybe something like say the basement of bear castle the, literally the odin spot mm -hmm. might have the you know ha might have the the uh harp for all for all intents and purposes so yeah. you know we can we can also i mean at this point of the game uh you may want to anticipate what is the worst case chain that could possibly happen to you and this is the time to kind of think about it if also, you really want to naibari i call for reroll and see the season valid antline is not in his normal vacation position I am disappointed. So yeah. this is not Antlion. Not a, no moon, no moon Antlion. What is this? No, it's not a, a, it's Ant Ant not a sea. Antlion likes his views. So I don't maybe know. we get Antlion at CPU. That's not nice. Oh, that One, would be. But that's it's a, not nice. That's a that's moon adjacent. Even though it's on Earth, it's moon adjacent. I actually. Uh, that that's sounds like a, a that sounds like a thing. Hey, that's an item. Too bad it's not an objective. <laughs> well, I mean, so I I look at these and in my head right now, like I'm looking at the moon and this somehow tells me that the harp is gonna be behind the Baron key. Like yeah. the way this is beginning to play out, I feel like one's gonna chain into the other. Yeah, it's it's looking like at the probabilities. I mean, we I think we're gonna have to check the Mura spot. I think before yeah, we even even think about doing that. Yeah, we're getting to that point though. I mean, the checks are getting very limited. So I'm here for it. Also, hooray, Eagles! Yay, going back up the tower. Gonna be rewarded with the pan. Yeah, the, there will be that moment. Sometimes every run will have it. it's like when you pick up the item that you really sh should have wanted much earlier and might have needed mm -hmm. so well but yeah that that'll that'll happen i it, it's unfortunate but at the same time it's part of the game like you know sometimes we do things that well most normal people wouldn't do so sometimes you get punished by it sometimes you pull out a fight with 14 hp left on a character you know it goes both ways it sounds like experience i you know i got a lot of them let me tell you so hey that's an asura i hear she doesn't like mute knives yeah mute knives and but since we're i think we're going for straight power overwhelming with reflect just, just so if we, mm -hmm. in the worst case, if you don't have reflect, you wanna, you would spend two uh, star veils, one, yeah. one on the character and one follow up on this from the same character to reflect back onto Ashara. Yep, great way to do it. Also, you'll notice Angie at this point not doing a single input. This is what we call action economy. Why let Asura trigger more counters than absolutely necessary when Edge is literally doing six to nine thousand damage a swing. Uh, probably so. the only character to do that much damage anyways even yeah. with the crystal sword so you still need more levels to get into like even 5000 so it's like eh. but edge with hey, hey, the you, edge with the you, multipliers give me Just, a give me a mute arrow artemis bow rosa and I'll, I'll i'll take that i'll take that risk i'm pretty sure i can put out some numbers on that thing so yeah that, 
Yeah, I love El El I mean, Elven Bow's instant mute arrows for everything, so that's yeah. just as good. Um, yes. So, okay, so the question is the reward. That's half of it. Well, it's immediate chain time. Let's That's go. half Let's of go. it. So we're 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 in play, but uh yeah, the reason why I say we do the giant after this, um, it's saving you the animation flight time. So right. because this takes you back to Earth regardless, you don't do the giant when you're on Earth when you have a moon objective. Or you come up, you do the moon, and the giant is your next play. We're, we're gonna, yeah, we're not doing Baron right immediately Angie after this. me wrong immediately. Thanks, Angie. Appreciated. Oh. <laughs> it's yeah. like I thought about it. It's like thought about it. I mean, okay. I know this is on a time delay, and this is 15 minutes in the past, but come on. We're supposed to be on the same wavelength here. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, if we can I'm transfer kidding. our we're thoughts, going to the, oh, we're going to the giant. Yeah, yeah. So we're... but we've, we're, if we're commuting our thoughts through time travel, I mean, uh, that's that would be incredible. I love that. Uh, you know, the things I wish I could tell myself 15 minutes ago would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a few things. <laughs> I'm sure. All right, so I don't. No. I think we. Um, are we at the point we want to even think of doing a D machine gun? I think I feel no. like no. no. We have to cure four. Absolutely. I mean, you that's... have a crystal sword. Are you kidding? No, we're good. Yeah. I mean, so it's always a thought. Like, hey, we're in the giant. Do we want to grind? And ideally, no. if we don't have to. No. Great. <laughs> this is literally with ten key items. These two fights is half a million. Assuming that they're fights that you get the full EXP from, this is half a million experience. This is more than you need for the rest of the game. Yeah, the, the CPU spot yeah. has a lot of XP. Yeah. Oh, like, you're done. It's, it's 205 for the first spot, 300 for the second. So. I mean, it's not it's not quite a, like, oh. lunar dragon spot. Like the D, the it's, D lunar spot. Oh. It's 205,000 that you can sneeze on. Ah, uh, true. Um, you, just, you just sit back and relax and enjoy. Oh no, Foo's gonna die, so sad. It's Foo doesn't meet the levels. No. It's, it's fine. No, we just sit on Cecil. So yeah, the script is still live in this, so basically you wait for the second kick, unless you're cheeky. Um the second kick to come out of Yang swing with Cecil, he goes ouch, he goes bye bye Yeah, it's not designed for uh Dark Knights so you know, so you don't so yeah, don't, don't even think about that. So don't even think about it. Also, if you have DKC when you're doing this fight, I have questions. Also, I'm really impressed. So, just put putting that out there. It, well, unless, well, it would be more fun if regular DKC was at that the spot. Then, oh, then, but we we saw him we saw him earlier. But if at this spot, I, see, I knew somebody would say it. Of course, it was Dia. Yeah, just skip the second kick. Yes, you can. It's a very tight window, but yes, it is possible. Of course, Dia would say that. If you wanna make those, those those seconds, the frames, save the frames. I, I. Yes, I know. That's one of the things I still have to learn and put in my repertoire is the ability to plink. That's a discussion for a whole different time. Yeah. All right, what's here? What's here? Is it designed to murder us or is it free? Um, free. Uh, well. Uh, no, no, it's. It's on designed the, to uh, ha laugh at you. It's on the bright side, boy, does he kill himself in this spot. This is going to be fun. Uh, uh, well, moment to see certain, certain bosses evoke the must reset response, and this is one of them. Well, Looks it's you're setting up basically like you were talking about earlier, it's status priority. It's what shuts down the paralyzed, so I have time to throw a wall up because this is the highest spell power in the game. So when you see that first spell fly, you're going to understand why you want nothing to do with this at all. Yeah, usually when you're getting out of paralysis, you re essentially restart the ATB, and you know what happens first? Uh, the boss. <laughs> since, they're, yeah. since the boss is faster, the boss will get the advantage. The first spell on you, and that will... Of the two characters that remain, they it's uh yeah you want to you want to get your turns valuable turns in immediately you want someone guaranteed to survive so i can tell you right now that no character in this party can survive that first spell at all looks oh, it's not even close 
Porm, uh, Porm has a hair on Rome, I think. So Not that... even close. <laughs> that first spell coming out, we uh, I was I was watching somebody and we had a joke about this, and he had a Sid that had six thousand health. Like, oh no, I'm good. That first spell came out, fifty three hundred damage. It's like, boy, are you glad that went on Sid? Because if it went anywhere else, you're dead. Because yeah. the follow up is way worse. Yeah, like monsters have spell powers greater than yours, so they'll have multiplier. They can have multipliers greater than twenty five, which is just the cap for a, a regular character. Oh, yay! Veils up, fights free. Yay! Now the fun part. We would love for the characters to get the experience for this fight. The Probably. bad part is somehow. Whoops. Well, bye, Fu. Hold on. Here comes the next one. It's fine. <laughs> Let Golbas do the work. That's 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 that, that's, that's how this do. this fight yeah. works. Yeah. This, this Let Golbas has twenty five thousand HP. You basically count. You wait till it does twenty five thousand to himself, and you bonk him once. That's the fight. They, they, that's that's what's what standing around is for. You're, you're, yeah, okay, you're racing to stand around. There's your count. You take a swing. He's like, oh, I'll come back later. No, you won't. Not on this seed, you're not. So. Why? Why did it hurt? Why did I hurt myself? I don't know. Unfortunately, you don't get the full amount of XP from that fight. But I mean, I'm not gonna cry over 225,000. Like, well, yeah, it's fine. I mean, you get Porm to white. I mean, that's that's the dream. Yeah. Didn't you have to? Didn't have to do a grind. Didn't have. Life two is what four levels away from 52. Uh, well, we didn't, do we want? Do we need uh, Anchor Rydia? I mean, okay, so a case can be made, but at the same time, no, you don't. I think we're, we're, we're no, kind of don't. at power no, overwhelming, not with right? what's left in the game and, like, agility-wise and all that. I mean, the only thing that's agility kind of questionable is Baron Basement. Beyond that, you, you don't care. Like, see, you figure it out. Of course, Angie proving me wrong immediately that poor agility <laughs> anchor because why not I, th I it's, mean it's, it's beyond safe it really is it's RA1 even if Rydia gets a couple of levels you're still fast enough that your characters to stay RA1 so and she's really easy to like explode to I mean she has 30 HP so mm. yep <laughs> Hey, it's only, it's only 30 HP. I mean, uh, you what? know, we call it Team 90 HP for a reason, right? Unless it's uh, unless it's two right ideas, and then there's it's, then it's Team 60. Then you just accidentally, oh no, my computer died and the seed got lost. Darn, I am guess I'm just going to have to re-roll it. Too bad. What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, that is. Those yeah, there will be seeds. There yeah, will be seeds. There, I, there will. I've I've had my share of some very interesting ones. So, yeah. Uh, curiosity on Angie's side, uh, while Eagles is about to uh, you know dink around on the moon, does Angie swag walk all of Baron? I feel like the answer is yes. You're you're essentially at power overwhelming levels. Yeah. I mean. Minus Rydia. It's fine. It saves you time. So, yeah. Like, I you mean, do the first fight, you walk down to the basement. It's fine. Yeah. There, there aren't too many bosses that will make you uh, stop. Even nope. if, and you've even... seen all of them. That's, that's where, like, in your head, or you run the character tracker to be like, okay, what bosses are down here that could really ruin my day? They're, like, all gone. I mean, at worst, there'll be like a foul, and that's that's about it. I mean, that's there's that there's there aren't too many left. Sword. Val will be. <laughs> Why not? Val is great <laughs> everywhere. I feel like the solution to everything at this point is a crystal sword. That is that you, that is true. It's uh, it's like the hammer and nail thing. We just uh, or we Gord we saw the Gordian knot is where I was going. Yeah, you know, cutting through a knot with a sword. Best kind of kills overkill, you know. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of a Gordian knot. Yeah. The solution of the Gordian knot, instead of trying to untie the knot, you just hack it with a sword. Uh, well, that spell's gonna tickle. 
the good news is I think you still have the mute knife on edge. So if you hold A, by the way, Mindy sucks. Okay, I understand they're three sisters, but Mindy is the bad one. I'm not, I'm not, I'm more of a Sandy. Uh, she's, I think Sandy's the worst. Oh, well, and I mean, Charm if, is... Eh. It, but, I mean, hey, if hey, if uh, you have a Soma drop Tella and Tella decides to cast Medio, uh, you know, I mean, you know, seeds happen. I mean, okay. That's what I'm just saying. And I'm, I'm not I'm trying. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you for that because you know what? Tella was your anchor. He should have been dead. So that's, all <laughs> that's also so, true. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, that can't cast Medio if he's dead. Forehead. <laughs> well, yeah. The... Every single time I, I see Charm, I'm seeing. I assume it's gonna be a Meteo or something devastating. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's well, on, on any on, on any mage, particularly like a Fu or a Tell. Not well, not so much Tell, but like a Fu or a. What if Palum cast Meteo? I mean, let's let's go all out. Also, I called it. I told you the Twin Harp would be behind Baron. Nailed it. Yeah. But well, if Radia cast Meteo, oh, that's just another day in Possum's life. But that's that's a whole other different story. So, yeah. Hey, level 60 Medio compared to level 50 Medio on Palom. I mean, those, I mean, Medio is Medio. It doesn't matter what level you learn it, it hurts. Yeah. So, yeah, so Baron gating, Baron gating everything. So, yeah, that is, that is go mode for Angie. He's got everything he needs. So, yeah. Eagles is on a clock. It's the, it's the other guards. Yep. Free, pretty free. Also, it's kind of fun to kill the back guard and just let the other three punch themselves to death. But this is a race. We're trying to go as fast as humanly possible here. So that is true. Um, I mean, you have to, you have to, to put into context why they punch themselves is uh, they don't. I mean, that the look, scenario. It, I mean, look, you, look, this game was teaching you in the 90s about your job. OK, when the boss is gone, everybody has no idea what they're supposed to be doing. So they just all screw around. That's that's exact. That's a life lesson, folks. Very much. And character oh, did not wow. need, to not a, need. Oh, but we guess we do. We want it's, another, a, no. it's a dupe, though. It's dupe foo. That's rare. I, I mean, if you had a cur if you knew you had a curse ring, uh, then another f a foo for the anchor, it would be great. But I don't think oh, we've yeah. found one. So I think. Yeah. And yay, you name away and a bomb. That's great. I mean, I trust me. I'd be, I'd be more than. A, sometimes that bomb when it shows up in the wrong spot is just. Ugh, I can do without that in my life. I mean, well, it's. I mean, you're always guaranteed to hack away at nine thousand HP. And oh, hey, more darting material. Mm-hmm. Darts, darts are nice. Yeah, see, Dia brings up a valid point. When the boss is gone, you fight your coworkers to help the people that got rid of them. See, exactly. Sounds like reality TV to me. I don't know why they don't, like, show people more of this. So. I don't know. I can, can possibly yeah. figure that out. If you're NG, do you turn in the pink tail under one exact condition? You are scared that somehow your Poram is going to die. Which is a valid concern, okay. but I still think the answer is no. I, th I think you can just, you can just leave uh, Cecil on Burr and Edge on occasional potion guy while he throws the kitchen at him, the kitchen sink at him. I mean, there's no, there's you're probably going to be automatic. I feel like with the levels, this is like drink wine with Edge and Cecil, and that's it. Throw the cure for after the first big bang, and that's that's the ball game. Like you're just you're done at that point. So I, mean, I don't I don't think he goes unnerfed on the first big bang. I think he still nerfs it, but after that the fight's automatic. The crystal sword just breaks everything. And it does it so well. Yeah. It's it's the mo but then the moment the crystal sword's not rolled, but uh, no, that's not that's not possible. Not yet. Yeah. Not, no. not, what, not with this. At least the current brackets. When we move forward, uh, that's not even on the table. So I'm, I'm looking forward to brackets. Oh, am I looking forward to brackets? I mean, we, we're, we're, we're. Correct me if I'm wrong. We're all getting spoiled right now. 
right? You got a foo, you got a Cecil, you got a crystal sword. Throw all that out the window. And then knock the treasure down a notch while you're at it for good measure and walk them up brackets. Now, now things get interesting. Now, now you, now you kind of, you know, change and adapt to, you know, the first four characters you find. Hey, maybe, maybe you got to figure out how to make those four work because you may not be getting better for a good chunk of the scene. So. Yeah, I mean, C uh, Cecil with a crystal, even Excal is literally a a team uplift. Fu is instant uplift. Just they don't even have to. Like Cecil, you need a little bit of work. Fu was like essentially online by the time you get him. So it, this mm -hmm. is not having either means that if if you even get the adamant, that is that is instant uplift. Usually, which is more than, more than enough reason to put it in its own tier. I mean. I I like Zeno's language. Just do power couple with Rosa and Polrom. Yeah. Yeah, you ever tried to do reflex strats with dual white casters? <laughs> it's 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 a lesson in patience. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> I mean, white is good enough to pretend it's sure. nuke. It's great. It's just how long it takes for it to fire. You're like, are they ever going to cast? Like, could you please just go? Hey, look, it's Plague Revisited. Uh, who does also, there's nothing worse, by the way. Thank you, NG, for actually taking a swipe at Rydia here. There's nothing worse than like being like, oh, I'm going to drink wine with Edge. Oh, I'm going to drink wine with Cecil. Oh, crap, Rydia's alive. Let me try to bonk her, and you can't kill her. And she lives, and she gets 50,000 experience, and you're like, great, there goes my anchor. Hey, but I uh, but we have more. We have another egg. I think you have to go get them, and that's effort. And ugh. look, oh. I just want to drink wine and swing at things. Okay, is that too much to ask? Are we doing? We're trying to go for the. Uh, uh, I was I was thinking uh, skip, but the death skip. But uh, oh well. Oh, the kamikaze kill? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, little known tech, folks. Actually, a lot of people know this tech, but if you use kamikaze, it's kind of like how reflect works to not trigger counters and things of that nature. The game doesn't exactly understand how a kamikaze kill works. So in a spot that has a crumble animation, if you can kill it with a kamikaze, you skip that entire animation, which can save a ton of time depending on what boss is there. So... Also can be done against Z, but that's 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 high rolling and that's just showing off. So just saying. Hey, who who doesn't want your end game screen with still the uh, with the Z music going on? I mean, who who can say no to that? Well, I look, look I look at it like this, like you know, the, the, with this iteration of the tournament, you know, auto trackers are now allowed. Okay, if an auto tracker can't pick up the fact that you just killed Z via Kamikaze. There's something wrong here, okay? The game wasn't exactly intending for you to do that. But, but uh, swag kill. I get it. Also, it makes it harder for... Look, what happens if you do a kamikaze kill and it ends up a tie? I mean, they uh, have that's... to retime it, but now they have to sit there in advance, literally frame by frame, to figure out when, like, the animation of the fade out starts and it's just... It makes more work for the admins. But we want more ties. I know. I'm I'm look, I'm trying to defend the admins here. No, do kamikaze kill, create ties, do whatever you gotta do. It's entertainment value, folks. Yeah. I'll uh, get newspaper later for this. I will take one for the team. You're all welcome. <laughs> well, at least we get to end the seed with some music. So <laughs> that's and Yay, every, that's and that's every, that's a that's a fan favorite because uh, I love music and because you know the heart music is heart music. We know the we know the tune, but eh, how about something else? You know, because the heart heart makes good heart is good music. So it's you know, really good music. I heard a new one recently. I didn't know it was in the pool. I was playing the sea and all of a sudden Stardew Valley came out. I'm like, huh, that's a new one. So there's a lot of music that's been created in this. I, I I can't even tell you what the number is. It's a big number. 
But between Calm Lamity and, ironically, that character right there is Xenocat. Yeah. That's a lot of music. I'm looking forward to it. Also, no, 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 Angie. No. Kamikaze is supposed to go on Z. It's fine. Porum, Porum is uh, a favorite sacrifice for uh, some characters, some people, yep. some runners who uh, like like their Porums. And now we'll mm -hmm. be let... quiet yeah. while you listen to amazing music and I get to turn up my audio finally. Yay! <laughs> I'm actually very happy that that fight was not one of those that decided to cut the music in half. I'm glad we got to hear that entire thing. Uh, for a moment there, I was thinking alt call it. That yeah, you know, you saw it and you wondered. You got, but hey, that is that. Oh, that is a crystal in hand. We do have a pass, so it's it's a very short walk to our destination now. And here, have a free sword while you're at it. Hey, the sword. Hey, we needed that sword. I, look, hey, more DPS, right? Best kill is overkill. Yeah. So, meanwhile, on the Eagle side, Eagles is getting through uh, Dr. Luggage. Doctor talks way too much. Doctor, you wish you could somehow get this script out of the game, but yeah, it's fine. I think it, it's, it's, it's like a comedy routine. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, not everyone understands his com brand of comedy, but it's mm -hmm some kind of comedy yeah. all right so power has got 2000 hp so eh, that's a solid number so cecil's gonna do cecil things we all know that power has gonna throw out a cure for when necessary and radio will radio is gonna have a monday that's what radio is gonna have she's gonna show a shiny crystal and then she's there's not gonna be much left of radio after this fight i'm sorry but hey uh uh death where are all these z flags i'm seeing here what are these? Uh, they're, um, it's, wait, it's time for a nap. I mean, we started at 8. It's I know, I'm old. Why do people always tell me I have to take a nap? God, stop. No, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's that flag everyone, everyone knows and loves because, uh, because, you know, final boss starts with a Z and everyone loves, everyone loves Aromas because because he cosplays you know because when he when he changes form he becomes something else and because it's a randomizer we can make him look like anything anime uh bosses from games anything we that uh artists can put their heart's desire into that picture and um so i guess the qu but the ultimate question is uh Whose butt are we going to kick tonight? Followed by, does it have a butt? Because that's important, too. Does, does it even have a butt? I mean, look, does a, does the baked potato have a butt? I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It could well, be baked potato mist. Actually, I don't even know if that's a Sprite, but it sounds delicious and really good, though. <laughs> it could. I mean, in some shapes, it could be shaped like like a butt i mean it, it could be so the jury's out let's let's see 
Does it have a butt? Yeah, oh boy, does it have a butt. <laughs> it's, an, it's a mean butt. That's what it is. <sighs> oh, God. Do I still remember this maneuver? What was it? Jab, jab, forward, short, fierce punch? I believe triggers this special. Any, any, any fighting game people in there? Do I remember this one? Is that accurate? That is Akuma. Yes, from I think at least Street Fighter Alpha 2, and I don't know what the, what other series would... Yeah, that character uh, is mean. Uh, it still can't get used to the fireball f at, in the mid-air. Mid like, hey, thank uh, you, Ryuta. See, I, I, I remember things about fighting games sometimes. Those were good times. They, they were. They were a lot of fun. So, hey, so we probably have people that drank wine there. Uh, here comes the cure for. There goes Radia. She went splat. We're so sad. Sorry, Radia. And in all reality, at this point, the controller's down. Like, this is it. This is literally a DPS race. You're putting out, what, 10,000 plus around right now? It's like 9,000. 11,000 around? Yeah, you're done. Yeah. This, is a, this is a forgotten conclusion. Just sit back and enjoy. Don't waste time casting more spells or things like that. Just sit back and enjoy the fireworks. And if poor even takes a nap, we're good. It's I mean, at this point. Cecil will take that again. Thing. Cecil still lives through it and carries you through. So, did you know I saw a max roll Big Bang finally for the first time in my entire free enterprise career? Twenty seven hundred uh, flat. That means you've equipped nothing on the character or had or like a power shirt and nothing else. Yeah, it was the thing. So there's rocks. Should be another swing. Maybe two. Who gets the finish? Of course he does, because he is Big Stick Cecil. <laughs> we have a winner. Yeah, GG's to NGJ. With an official time of 142.52. We'll have to see if we can get NG in here for an interview. Oh, but there is a fun fact. You can't actually make him do even more damage in his Big Bang. It's oh, yeah, if... you can. Just d please don't. Just don't. I think we're joined by NG today, NG. How you doing, Martin? Hey, like stranger. You. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Well done. Uh, thank you. Uh, that was a seat, all right. Wasn't it? Oh, had some jokes in it, too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let Death field the questions first. So, Death, what do you, what do you got for Angie? Uh, so, so I don't even know where to begin. Uh, How so, about that start? How about Edward Tella? Let's start there. Yeah. <laughs> How was uh, that combo? He's speechless, folks. That's well, how amazed he is with that. Oh, I was just, you know, overwhelmed by the power I had. Oh, baby. No, I was I was looking for either a good bow and arrow, a dancing dagger, or some J items to start that off. Hmm. Fortunately, Edge showed up very shortly into the seed. Yeah. And was... had a J item to quickly clear out those dolls, but I wasn't sure if flame would be enough. I forget the exact HP that I didn't feel like taking a risk. Uh, well, we saw Eagles uh, when, uh, he, that he used Flame and didn't have a problem. So yeah, Flame is probably good enough. This like split what seven ways? That's a lot of that's a, yeah. not a lot of HP considering that spot. What is it? But that is usually a five five rare, five monsters on the field. Yeah, you should be fine. So, so um. How was, um, so those, you had a quick trip to Zot. I assume you wanted the characters immediately, right? Yeah, I felt I could take whatever was up there with the gear I'd found and two gated character checks. Yeah, was that, was that probably most in part due to who you started with? Partially that, but the gear I'd found was, I thought was enough for Edge to clear through everything up there. And yeah, the two starters characters could certainly be upgraded. Yeah, um, so if I'm trying to go through the, just go through what I'm think, remembering, uh, I think there was a point when you, uh, you were going through all the, uh, moon bosses, and I think, I think you had, um, and yet it, would you have any thoughts of doing Odin when, when you had, when you need to look for at least the Baron Key or the Harp, which was a thing? Uh, 
not right then and there. I knew I had an objective. I had a lunar objective already and the pass. Plus, at that point, I wasn't strong enough to take the Odin. I didn't have the DPS to kill it before Santa Tsukin comes out. Right, like, like that's that's spot with uh, with him being punchy with the Leviathan. So yeah, that would that would not be a good time. Yeah. Um, I don't have any other questions off the top of my head. Uh, Martin, do you have any? Uh, I mean, you you from what I saw of that seed, I mean, you pretty much played that straight up. Um, obviously the edge. You know, you have the edge. Not not. You know, the Earth Crystal, not a ton of great weaponry, really, that came out of there for him. Um, was there ever a thought of those Evelyn traps? Did that ever cross your mind? Like, hey, maybe I should go try and find something to maybe help this out? Or is it just, eh, I can do this. I got this. Worst case, I die. <laughs> that was, honestly, I thought I had the power to get through checks. Plus, I found underground access fairly quickly, and ninja swords are available in shops. Mm -hmm. I think I did purchase one and then used that with a mute knife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now mute knife obviously did some uh, did some work for you there on nice. the uh, on the moon and in I the barren basement. Kind of so. spend a the other a sizable chunk of my money on a light sword too. Mm -hmm. Any the, anything you saw on the seed that was like kind of rude or I mean obviously you know. Wyvern rearing its head was a <laughs> surprise. Oh. Um, that was, I'm at PS1, aren't I? I? I'm not getting the star veil off. <laughs> you just see that and you're like, I know what's coming. I know what's coming. Just just give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, nope, there it oh, is. Oh, yeah, it feels <laughs> nice and toasty. Yep. So, but yeah, no, overall, very, very well done. Um, I, I did enjoy the Excalibur, then the very next check, Crystal Sword. I mean, you got to use it for like a little. But look, you probably got to use the sword about the same time that Kane was in your party, okay? And then, yeah. So there you go. So what 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 do you think? Obviously, uh, what else can we call out? Um, not a lot. Not. A, I mean, no, there wasn't anything yeah. rude. It was just the objectives and where key are placed. Pretty much meant you were going for a walk through the seed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Although, very much so. having the double behind the Baron Key, and yeah, so. And but Baron no, Key being on the opposite side of the moon as a required objective. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to, you know, sit there and be like, well, I'm going to do the bottom, and then I'm going to go top down. Yeah, no. No, it's... Th this, this flag set does lend weight to the fact, I mean, you know, they want completion rate, and boy, do they usually get it. So. I said to myself when I got to the moon, I'm bailing the moment I find the Baron Key. That's two. <laughs> that's two. That's a K main and a K summon check available. Mm -hmm. and th oh, the reason my routing was kind of weird when I came back was I wanted to see if Twin Harp uh, came out of Baron before I went down to do Odin. Mm -hmm. So I. Could... Well, I mean, it worked out. I mean, it, it played exactly how you thought it did. So. And if it doesn't shake out of there, then I just hit Odin when I launch the Falcon. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So. But yeah, you're you're one and zero in your group now, so I'll enjoy great. it for three days. <laughs> okay, well that answered my next question on when your next match is. Uh, who is it against? Friday at I believe nine o'clock against Dia. You got some work ahead of you. Like I said, I'll enjoy it for three days. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, you, you know, you run a seed like this, and I mean, hey, it's why we play free enterprise. Anything can happen. But yeah, congratulations uh, on a, the win. Yeah, um, he is a fantastic runner, and uh, I expect this to. Uh, I expect her to run a very great, a great race on Friday. Yeah, very much so. So, looking, looking forward to seeing that one as well. So, you know. I'll say this to everyone, get get to practicing. More practice, Angie. More practice. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go enjoy the rest uh, of your evening. Uh, go go, 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 go celebrate, to... and uh, uh, we will see you back on Friday. I would like to give a shout-out to you, Martin, and Deathlike for comms. Uh, you Barry for rolling this uh, wonderful seed, and Alice for pushing all the buttons. Yeah, we gave yeah. her. A, we gave Ali a lot to push. 
Yeah, you did, and you know they they kept up to it and gave you a seed that entertained all of us. So, good job once again. Thank you. GGs oh. again, MG Dave. Yep, that's NG Day, folks. That's that's your winner, one and zero. Oh. Has all the confidence in the world going in his next race. Just like Rendo, your your next seed can will just be as magical as the previous one. Ah, uh, you know that's why it's a randomizer. I mean, if it wasn't, we'd all be playing vanilla and hating the fact that we can't run or do a lot of the things that we can currently do in Free Enterprise. I'll stick to Free Enterprise. I, I like my vanilla. I like vanilla. I like the change up. I like the change of pace. Yeah, vanilla spawn pixel remasters are great. It's just, I, you know, the actual true vanilla, I, I, I need to be able to run. <laughs> like, this walking thing, it's, it's, no, it's not, it's not for me. I think that has an auto run, so you probably might get at least that much. Yeah, no, yeah, you could do like Free Enterprise with like the uh, quality of life patch where it's vanilla, but you get all the extra little hooray things out of it, so. Yeah. But hey, Eagles is done with Baron, so we will grab our, uh, go back in, grab our Twin Harp out of there, and, uh, yeah, after that, it's off to the Giant, so. On the bright side, it, at least the Giant is pretty straightforward, like, it's not, you're going in there and, you know, face palm and just, uh, really, this thing? I think Antlion oh. is actually not in this seat. <laughs> I, you know, we... Is there... Well, we didn't look at the package. Uh, no, let's not find out. Yeah, so I mean, Antlion could be in the package. But yeah, no, what, it's, it, was, it was a great race. I mean, I hate to say it, though, for Eagles. I think that pan was kind of a big thing. Yeah. That, that, that mom bomb, I think, was kind of where things turned. So, which... I mean, it, it's it's fair enough when you're when you're essentially you you want to do it, uh, and and it turns out that you're not you're just not uh, high, high enough levels to just take it on, and might might be some thought into you know the alerts or usual uh, the try you know just loot do some looting and try to trigger an alert and it might get some decent experience uh, mm -hmm. alerts themselves probably not so much but maybe the monster they generate might get you there i, I don't i don't think the xp is that great but at least you'll you might get some equipment some levels to offset some of that good right that would be something and then our alert by itself is really harmless until you do any damage to it so mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't really care until you try to hurt it exactly also, can we call it the fact that we're actually attempting Swag Rocks here on the Sisters? I'm here for... Boo! Boo! See, I told you Mindy was the bad one. She ruins all our fun. She does. I wanted rocks. This sucks. It's rock. Rocks are riot. Rocks are riot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this spot, though. This spot is not... It's not pleasant, not by any means. So the magic power here is ridiculous and the speed is not insignificant, so. Yeah, they're buff, yeah, Odin's fast and mm -hmm. punches. Well, no, we're not We're not gonna worry about the punches, but the spell power, the spell power is, yeah. is there. It's, it's, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, punches are usually, you know, you can take a punch, right? Whether it's Cover Cecil, Moon Veil, enough armor glass hat whatever it may be but reflected spells though i mean you can't really shut those down you can you... yeah you can well you can mitigate a little bit yeah, i mean the i mean outside of virus you can just the if you had a protect ring or mm -hmm. some dragon from dragon dragoon set of equipment you can pro you can mitigate some of that at least offset some of that damage but uh, yeah greedy and you know adamant armor and i mean heck why not right Yes, that's that works. That works just fine. Yeah, uh, Adamant cures a lot of things. It does. It does. It does not stop a virus, though. <laughs> that, that much you do learn. <laughs> like, oh, I'm fine from everything yeah, until that, that hits you. Yeah. You're like, okay, I'm not fine from everything. This is great. 
Yeah, you, you, for, when you think of adamant, it's not like it's not behemoth level magic defense. You only, you're only the the spell power of, of just magic in general is higher than how much magic evasion you can actually get. Mm. So it's so it's, so, it's, so nukes will still hurt. It, you really, so it's anything with a. Uh, with high spell power will still hurt you, but I think you but you want magic evasion whenever possible. It's it's even if like I don't even know what uh, don't know what the highest spell I haven't like calculated. Like you do adamant armor, ribbon, crystal crystal protect ring, plus uh, like a shield, like a crystal shield or whatever. That it's like what a little more than forty, and that's like a fraction of the spell power of virus. That's like a quarter of no, it's, like, it's about a third of Virus's spell power. That is, that doesn't really cut it. <laughs> and Big Bang is almost twice that. So you don't, you, you don't even, you, you don't even uh, look into that. It's it, so yeah, I think. But you can, in, at least for some spells, you can mitigate. But when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to like Big Bang, uh, magic, <laughs> magic, raw magic defense doesn't do much. They fix it kind of in. In the advanced port, and uh, they're still ruining our fun. Uh, I ref boo. Yes, boo. Stupid Mindy. Well, we can. I mean, go back to Final Fantasy X and stay there. <laughs> Man. The alternative is just to make Cecil uh, take care of si take care of Mindy directly. So then, and then you get uh, like kind of like a some time before. Like a kind of a reprieve from from Simdi before she does uh, revi revives Mindy, mm. and that and that like if you're like sometimes you can like you have a choice between uh, like uh, a berserker attacking Mindy, I mean yeah attacking Mindy to to get rid of her and reduce the amount of damage you take. And there's mm. the other thought is if you have like a spellcaster like say Fu, uh, destroy Sandy quickly and then. Then you can see Mindy do funny things to her, to oh, yeah. her sister. That's a great time. It's also like a Baron Inn 2, where there's variable agility, where all the sisters weren't created equally and they all have different agilities. So sometimes Mindy will jump the gun, even before the wall fires. Yeah. <laughs> Throw out a fire or two right on a Cindy, and I just laugh. Oh, it makes me so happy. Yeah, that's deep. That, like, yeah, that's what you deserve for ruining my life and so many seeds you have this coming yeah that's a yeah that's a it, it certainly brings some amusement so you, you though, I mean the, I don't think there's, there are too many spots with the, with variable agility no there aren't that's one of the very rare ones where that can actually occur so that's uh, I, I enjoy it every time it happens I have to take a look at what each of the spots are. I just, I know, and that's the common one. Was it the second one or the first one? Uh, it's Baron Inn 2. Oh, so, so the karate spot. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, I guess this, well, I guess to... We're through the fight. So, you know, why she's casting Venom, I mean, sure. What do you do? Run out of Fire 1 charges? Hold on. <laughs> I don't sure. know. You, you cast a level two elemental and decide when the middle sister's down. Uh, let's still cast the lo level one elemental. See yeah. if it see if it yeah. does something. Yeah, yeah. But hey, you all get more music, which fantastic. I mean, come on. Anytime we have required music in a seed, unless you're exactly name one person that's out there, which will remain nameless. Music is a wonderful thing, and more is always better things that we could do less of poison walk poison walk would be nice um but yeah so i guess i mean i know we're trying to um trying to watch uh eagles do do music um so i guess the que my question is for you since hmm. since you're running um who what character would you prefer adamant on given assuming any part of position assuming any like all, pro all chances are equal. Who would, who would you pr prioritize putting the animate armor on? Are we talking about like this current party, or are we talking about oh, in, general? In, in general? In general, in general. Okay. Well, the problem with that is that 
it's very dependent on your like party right uh, i get that obviously you know crystal sword advent cecil like there's there's nothing that stops that one he just breaks everything um a case can be made though like early game foo like if you can put an adamant on foo having a foo that runs at relative agility one and basically you know can go first more or less everywhere i mean having that spell power available to you shortens a lot of fights very quickly um lets you check some things you normally wouldn't be able to do uh things like the warrior chest going down the march um having that set up that that now becomes automatic um it's basically just i mean you get nuke on foo and he's basically kind of a one shot almost like a crystal sword it's like hey i'm gonna go into a fight cool nuke button and it fires before literally anything else does so a case can be made for him end game party I, you know, this flag set, I feel like it doesn't really lean towards, like, lower HP fights. But if you ever ran into an issue where, like, I don't know, your white mage only had, like, 1600 HP, you know, like Paul Rom, uh, put the adamant on her, might keep her alive through a full power Big Bang. So it's, it's very case dependent. Um, edge with, if you can pull an edge, like, early game edge with an adamant, everything just dies like nothing can handle that speed so it's uh, there there's a lot of elements to it um i've seen radia adamant armor and you give her leviathan and <laughs> oof, there's there's not a lot that uh, stands up to that so it's, it's very case dependent i feel like i don't feel like there's like a character you could kind of screw up putting it on probably my favorite though is spoonward adamant spoonward no longer is a glass cannon he's just a cannon and it's a lot of fun to play with but music yeah. Yeah. I, I do enjoy when you can just sit here and just listen to the music, except for we're, we're racing, so you actually have to go fast, but the music's really good. Yeah, her, her music goes a long way to <laughs> going through going through the seed. It does. It does. But that's objective number six. Hey, we're going to the giant! Hooray! I know. So, yeah, hopefully that answered your question on the adamant armor. It's I, I don't think there's a wrong choice. I think there's a better choice depending on what your party is at that point. But it makes everybody better. So. Yeah. I, for me, I mean, I've, I don't roll a lot of adamant seeds because, I don't know, adamant is, is OP. <laughs> it's, it's the end all armor you ever want. You want, mm -hmm. you, you want, makes, makes seeds go quickly and then the game becomes a little trivial it's like ah, i'll just show up for the boss and it's over it's, well i mean if i could be brutally honest here for a second 
the adamant cup. I mean, I feel like it's kind of named after the appropriate, you know, piece of armor. Do you think people would participate if it was called the cursed ring cup? Like, come on. <laughs> sure. Of course, uh, it had to be the adamant cup. Like <laughs> well, uh, oh wait, cursed ring cup sounds like a thing. I mean, who doesn't want who who doesn't want to celebrate their anchors? Yeah, the every cursed scene? cup. Yeah, the cursed cup. Who's gonna like? Wait, what? We gotta do better than that. I mean, we can't call the crystal the crystal cup because, well, yeah, that's that's basically the Cecil show. But no, yeah, yeah. So, so, but my thoughts on uh, on adamant. I mean, obviously, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, party composition usually t takes a lot of things. For me, I think. Um, I mean, I think any giving. Uh, Cecil, even just the power shirt is good enough for me. Mm -hmm. I don't. So, uh, my preference would be giving it to the healer of your mm -hmm. party. So, whether mm -hmm. it's a Fu, Rosa, Porum, um, yeah. because you want them to be alive at any given time. So, because if so, if a character dies, well, th this per this per this character is not guaranteed to die. We'll we'll be sure that they'll be kept up right and uh, not have to worry. Like even in the front row I didn't, like I don't think there it's I think it's most more I guess more safety I mean I under, definitely and I can definitely I, there's no problem like putting it on a seesaw or edge let them let them do the thing because they're, they're gonna make the seat go faster but like I'm I'm in the like maybe more defensive just we I just want my if I want my um, healer to be alive at any mm -hmm. given point and i don't have to worry about anything else after that if they, if, if that character's alive everyone's alive ultimately so that's so yeah. even if in, in a in a in a more in a trickier z fight that this, this becomes more valuable but like if you're when you're when your average character level is good enough to have cecil burr into ev to everything then you know you don't have to then you're just adding to that I prefer safety. Aggr aggression is just as, just as viable a choice. So mm -hmm. um, I I don't know which was better, but I mean, maybe early game. I think at ad early adamant, I think be more defensive. Late game, you can do something more to more you know DPS oriented. I, then yeah, see, Edge or Cecil or whoever whoever is your primary berserker mm -hmm. should be having it. But I think for me, yeah, defensive first, offensive later. If, okay. Depends on when the adamant is picked up on the yeah. characters you have. Yeah, um, I, I, I roughly I'll speak to my own experience. Um, I look at Cecil more than just the crystal sword. Um, for me, Cecil is probably evenly balanced between ridiculous amounts of damage and cover strats. I, I had a seed where Evelyn threw out an adamant armor early. And it's like, you know what? I ran Slumber Sword, Adamant Cecil, and basically just put everyone else in critical HP, and he just stopped everything else in his tracks. And they basically all just had free turns to do whatever they wanted. So, yeah, I, I get the defensive side of it, and he shuts down so much in that. But, you know, absent Cecil? Yeah, absolutely. Throw it on a healer. Throw it on... You know, based like you said, whoever needs to stay alive for you to advance the scene. So, oh hey, it's this guy again. Uh, I might be a reset. I think I might be thinking of what to do. Well, it's. I mean, the, the good news you have a Tella there. So, I mean, Edge and Cecil are gonna should outspeed this. So, depending on what this kills. Best case, it's a 50 50 on you getting a veil off before the spell fires. I think, uh, I think we must admit it's an adamant on Edge because uh, he's not, he's resisted the he's resisted it, so we should be good as long as the, the wall doesn't wear out. But I think that's usually it's more there. than enough. That's it. Uh, Ribbon does not resist. Uh, hold. It's, it's now, heroin, robe, or adamant. Call it a day. Crystal ring does, though. Oh, that's, yes, that's the other yeah. one. Oh, that's... yeah, crystal ring, heroin, adamant, those three. 
think the hammer one was more accessible naturally. I think the crystal ring, uh, not sure what the tier level, I think it, it's more... I don't think you're able to buy it normally. So Pretty it's sure. dry. Mm -hmm. It is always fun watching Golbez implode himself. It's it's very cathartic versus seeing like Golbez at like Leviathan or Cave Bahamut, where he just does not help you kill him at all, but his spells still tickle enough that you have to do something about it. The good thing about uh, Bacchus Wine is that it doesn't care if you have Reflect. So nope. it's a, it's pretty safe to use it when you're under reflect. Yep. Does you can't say the same thing for illusions, but it's, it, you, all you care is about uh, punching the fights out of the other. <laughs> that's it. That's go mode for eagles. So we are a short trip away here from Z. Curious to see if he dumps Tella and takes Radia, considering you have one exact fight left in the game, Probably. and that solidifies yeah. your anchor. I would just do it. What's yeah, the tell so. the Riley and Tella is at the same essentially the same point. Uh, their anchors, except Tella has gone too many levels. So uh, yeah, so yeah. you know, maybe swap them out. Why not? Radius like, oh boy, do I get to come along? Hey, oh, no, we got we got to wait for this first. Yeah, yay, Crystal. Woo! Hey, join our party. See the floor. All the floors. I, uh, you know, don't tell her. Oh, nope, nope. Radia okay. gets to live. Somewhere a certain J-Mac is very happy that Riddy actually gets to live this entire scene. Hey, the hey, uh, crystal rooms. If you decide otherwise, it's fine. Also, um, I'm I'm calling I'm calling a foul right now. Um, eagles. No, you're supposed to fly the whale up to Terraya and crush the house. Everybody knows how this is supposed to work. It, it, it's, a, it, it's a delicate drive with the Yeah, with the yeah, this whole falcon thing. Yeah, this, 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 this doesn't work for me. I mean, it's, it's precision driving. I mean, if, if you're the master of the big whale, it, you can park anywhere. Perfectly. Yeah, but if you've ever looked at landing the whale here, that that upper right house there in the in that top corner, that one just gets obliterated by the whale whenever it lands. Like, I would not want to sell insurance to that house. That that just would not go well. So, oh, that's uh, convenient. Hey, look, a silk web for sale right before the Z fight. What if he needs one? Eh, probably. I mean, yeah, it probably doesn't. You don't you, need him. You don't need one. Yeah, no, it's drink two wines and Silk Web kind of goes out the window, so. Or you can just use it to get the, uh, get the, uh, what was it? The cut the counter so he get his Big Bang gets nerfed. So mm -hmm. I think it, Silk Web is a safe bet for any, for any fight, for any boss oh, yeah. fight. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it's a dual purpose item. It slows Z down and it triggers the counter so that first Big Bang doesn't come out at full power, so. I'm I'm okay with it, but uh, one more time, folks, into the void we go. I know we know who the sprite is, but something something butt something something kick. Gab jab forward short fierce. <laughs> Do you want to see butt again? That's what that's that's what I'm to. I mean, I look at his posture, though, and I feel like that's great butt exercises, though. Like, doing squats. I, I feel like Akuma's well ahead of us on that one. Yeah. He, he does stuff in a, in Street Fighter Alpha 2. Mm-hmm. Can't forget him. Oh, I saw we moved the spoon up in our inventory. Are we going to throw the spoon? Oh, I'm excited. I want to see this. Hey, Throst. Uh, did I... Uh, we still have... Yeah, did... Um, did Eagles buy a ninja? I know we got the Masa from the... Uh, from the... Uh -huh, from the... Uh, K Magnus. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he bought a ninja sword or not. But we're going to find out what it is. Probably wanted to leave oh, this. Oh, no. Though. Kill him. Uh, bang. Bang. Uh, <laughs> That's a great start. Isn't that a great start to a fight, folks? 
Like, oh, yeah, hi, here, have 10,000 damage free of charge. Mm. Wonderful. Can't say no to quad nine. No, not unless, at all. Unless it's on you, and it's Blark. <laughs> now, the bad part about this, though, I don't, that's not nerf, so this is coming out full power. Well, uh, I think we're okay. Yeah. Though, I think, that was pretty fast. That was. That was. Uh, I think agility wise, though, we're probably. I think we're still good on character. He also doesn't have two characters preserved, so he's not kind of locking up the queue yeah. with both characters operating. It's still doable. Well. I think Fu has enough MP to carry the carry the healing. Just as long mm -hmm. as everyone's alive, we're good. Yep. So, I guess we can take this moment real quick. Once again, please go follow the runners. You know, both NG and Eagles. This this isn't their only matches. They've got, what, four or five more, depending what bracket they fell into. Which, obviously, the superior bracket is spear speed. So, you know. Um, but yeah, go follow Naibari, go follow Ali. Deathlike is going to get right on making a Twitch account once once that happens. We're there. Go follow him. Ah, uh, Berserk. <sighs> Once in a while, a critical hit. I love, I love the animation. It's like, like kind of like a lightning strike. Just <laughs> flashes. It's nice. And oh, I mean, I know a lot of runners turn it off because, uh, of, because you know, no one wants, uh, no one wants it, to I see the flashes. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is unfortunately a visual trigger for some people. So I, I get it. I do. So. All right, so bringing this home. Bang. There, go. there you go. There it is. Eagles finishes. 21824. We'll see if we can get Eagles in here for an interview. Yeah, GG's Eagle 2 complete. Being yep. the seed. Hot spoilers. Eagles in here for the interview. Hi, Eagles. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good. GG. Well done. Nice finish. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, we appreciated the spoon dart. Thank you for that. That was that was that was cathartic. So, yeah, if I don't have Edward, I'm always throwing the spoon at Zermos. Well, I mean, I'd hope if you had Edward, you'd throw Edward and the spoon at Zermos. But that's a whole <laughs> different thing. So, what do you think of the seed? How's that start? Start was pretty good. I had them two before, so it was pretty interesting to have that start with Edward and Tella. So just trying to keep Edward for a little longer, but got Cecil underground. So I was like, I'm going with Cecil and having him be with the rest of the party. Yeah, yeah pretty safe choice. Um, I mean, the only thing I can, I can really ask is that that first attempt at Mom Bomb just didn't work out for you. What, what did, were you regretting leaving that one behind? No, I wasn't regretting leaving it behind. My my mind was to see who was there and to see what I could do. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't handle it the first time around, so I was like, you know what? I'll come back later on. Yep. Okay. Yeah, other than that, I mean, it was, you know, like you said, pretty pretty decent seed, Cecil, and yeah, things just kind of carried from there. What were, what were your thoughts? Anything kind of stand out to you during the seed? Uh... <laughs> Just uh, do it. Uh, going to get the Baron key on the moon. If I did the um, the first altar, I would have definitely just uh, just only went to the Mercy uh, Mercy Moon altar to complete that objective and just gotten out of the moon mm -hmm. instead of doing the ribbon room and the white spear room. Yeah, but Angie brought that up during his interview too. Was like, you know, yeah, great. My objective's on the bottom of the moon, but my go mode was literally at the top of the moon. So it's like you, you don't just skip the entire middle of the moon in the process. No, you have to do it all. So unfortunately, it didn't play out this time around. Um, definitely. Yeah, that's just how it crumbles. That's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, that's why we play the randomizer, right? Yeah, that's why I love this randomizer. Yeah, it's a good time. Deathlike, you have any questions for uh, Eagles? Yeah, I think... I think the was it the follow up to Mom Bomb. I think you ended up going essentially the on the other on top of the tower to route to get your Falcon Falcon objective done. 
and then get get surprised uh, by a uh, pain man. How was that? How, how did uh, how did that feel? Uh, it threw me through a curve just to figure out. It's like wow, like it's just like that curveball. Like you think you're doing real good, and it's like the only thing I was worried about was Wyvern being around, but that didn't happen. So it was like, all right, who can this be? And then all of a sudden the curveball came, and it's like, ha. Huh not set up right yeah that, that happens i think like when you see when you see certain bosses it's like ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, oh well yeah i mean well fortunately I mean, you didn't have to i mean you didn't do zot to face wyvern so so and i think that was so i guess that paid off hey that's time saved it wasn't anything up there anyway so no worries there yeah, that's what I was worried about when got the Earth Crystal. I was like, hmm, should I go to Zod already or just keep the path that I was going? Would, would you, were you tempted to go to Zod, though? Yeah. yeah, I was. Once I got the Earth Crystal, I went went back to open up all those chests in uh, Toria. I just figured, should I go? And then my gut was saying, don't do it. it there's probably nothing there. Yeah, that's true. And, I mean, up, I think there was a Yang and a Kane up there, and you got a and you got a Cecil Dwarf, so you would have it. So yeah, that probably that's definitely a certain certain time save you. So yeah, mm -hmm. that that was a good gut feeling. Sometimes it works out, and sometimes it didn't. This one certainly worked out for you. Yeah, that's the thing I was hoping for. It worked out, or like sometimes the guts usually right and sometimes i go against it but this time i went with it and it paid off mm. well unfortunately not the result you were looking for obviously now oh and one in your group uh what do you change going forward is there anything you change for your uh next match yeah i think like there's a few things um uh, uh in my next match changing up um like doing the beginning of the moon altar first to see and then work my way down and then um also just like trying to i mean i got my chest gold knocked down so i was happy with that so but like just trying to figure out what i can do leveling up and i didn't really have to grind much on this one so always a good feeling when those levels just kind of come as you play the game and it's like yeah i don't have to spend time doing eggs or you know dragons or anything like that it just kind of just all flows together so yeah no it's it's a good feeling yeah plus this is the first match that i've had in like a race type atmosphere in five years so kind of like a little bit of a d rust nervousness is gone after the first <laughs> match Hey, tournament racing is a whole different ball of wax, isn't it? So, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. But hey, GG's once again on the finish. Uh, looking forward to seeing whenever your match two is. I don't know if it's scheduled yet or not, but... Nothing scheduled yet. Looking next week sometime, but who yeah. knows? All right. All right. Well, hey, go enjoy the rest of your evening. Once again, well done on the finish. We'll We'll see you back. All right, thank you very much. All right, take care. You too, guys. See you. GG's again. Hey, that was fun. That was a fun seed. I I had a lot of fun with that. Thank thank you for uh thank you for sticking with me in the booth here. That was a lot of fun. I mean, yeah. who doesn't who doesn't like what twenty seven out of twenty seven type of uh, seeds? Like ooh. I mean, it's completion rate, and that's what we're going for in this tournament. So, <laughs> speaking of, hey, guess what? We're not done with them yet. There's, there's more. There's more Adamant Cup. We're, we're gonna go say hi to a fellow racer, old John Burkhead, who's doing some uh, Adamant Cup uh, group practice right now. But uh, reminders to everyone: you might want to go open, you know, another tab in Chrome or whatever your choice of browser is. Go load up Free Enterprise Two. Because there is a race in 45 minutes. It's going to be Blue Cat Loach and Frankie Bones. It's the last race of the evening, I believe. Which is number 12 today. So hopefully you've all not completely overdosed on Free Enterprise. I'm going to be there. I'm going to watch it. So what about you, Death? You going to be there? 
Uh, I'll see if I'll take a watch. I mean, this is like 12? Are we yeah, already there? That's 12 matches today. I, I thought uh, I thought there was like, like, like what, five, six, no. a half dozen? No, yeah, no, no. Four. There were five in our time slot. There was yeah. 12 today. By the way, if I was Thursday, it's even worse. You guys are going to be so amazed by how much free enterprise you're going to get. But we will see you all soon. We're out of here. Nayabari needs to go. We're getting newspapered. Deathlike, always a pleasure. Love doing this with you. I'll do it again soon. Sure, that was a lot of fun, Martin. Uh, and uh, see you guys next seed. Yeah, uh, take, I'll just remember, care, everyone. Yeah, make sure to not spoil this or the newspaper will have you. Ooh, newspaper.